Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Best knives of 2024. That's what we're going to talk about tonight, among other things. Hello, everyone. It is Friday night. It's Hive Day, baby. We're live at the Hive. Oh, right. It is Friday, March 29th, 2024. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We made it, baby. We made it a week. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I better mute that. <laughs> I'm going to get double vision. I'm pumped and I'm feeling it. I have a ton of knives to talk about. We had a ton of knives on the channel this week, and I'm really excited about it because, man, we've got some lookers. We have some budget knives. I have something brand new for Bees Blades to share with you all, and it's very exciting. If you're a chicken, it would be exciting. A shout out to all of our veterans, past, present, and future, and a shout out to all the law enforcement out there and first responders and everybody that's out there work, working on HVAC and plumbing and electric, electrician <laughs> electric, electrical, electrical stuff. Um, all the trades people, all you trades people, thank you very much. And a big shout out to all my moderators and all the subscribers and everybody that chimes in and is a part. You want to be an active part of the live stream. Maybe tell us where you're hailing from. Is your family watching? This is a family friendly show. We talk about no politics, no religion, nothing controversial. This is where we just chill, hang out, have snacks, talk about knives, talk about everyday carry gear, talk about knives that we want, knives that we just got, knives that are on the way, and pry bars, and screw dads and doodads and widgets and digits and oh yeah i got a uh i got a new cube just saying <laughs> for all you rubik's cube people out there i got a, a new uh speed cube in because well you know i i can't help it i learned how to solve the rubik's cube and now i'm uh whoo this thing is very very flippity i i'm i'm digging it i'm digging it uh well maybe we'll talk about that i don't know <laughs> we have so much to talk about now right now before i look at everybody's comments oh Here's another thing. Everybody that's a channel or not a channel, man, everybody that's listening right now and you're at work and you have the ear pods in, or if you're driving down the road and you're listening, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in. And here in a second, I'll be reading comments and interacting with you all. This is my opportunity to interact with everybody that watches my content and checks out the connives. And maybe you want to do, uh, what do you call it? We'll do pocket checks. And then if you want to do size comparisons or something like that, every once in a while, I'll show you how to do something on the, on the knife cam, which we'll show here in just a minute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 knives on the table right now. There were seven, at least 17 knives on the channel this week. Whew, it was a busy week. Oh, mama. What's up, top dog? 8762. Oh, yeah. I got sorry. I got to get the bell out. And D Element and Dwayne K are in the hive. Silvano's in here. Addicted to Blades 2. John Pierce, T Fetch, Josh Branson. What's up, Dwayne K? And uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going stag. Mrs. B's is out with the girls, and it's me and the boys. It's it's the B boys. It's the B's boys. We got ugh, Bogart made an early appearance. He brought me a washcloth because he wants to uh, apparently wash some stuff. And he, he just feeds off my excitement at the live stream and wants to be a part of it. And he's like, wow, I got to come down early. Holy moly. What's up, yo daddy? And all you channel members have, have emojis. <laughs> you want to get up here? Say hello. Say hello to everybody. He's a... Uh, He's got a wash rag because he's such a good boy. You don't, okay, you, you could just, you could just be still and just say hello to everybody and to show him your dirty wash rag. What's up? Brian Kerr's been a member for one whole year, baby. Brian Kerr with the 12 months. Super chat, super chat. And we got Bogart giving super chats and he's just w a wiggle butt. Oh my gosh. What's up, Brian F. and Justin, Ohio? Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm getting wiggled to pieces here. Ugh. So Bogart, he's gonna, he's he's probably going to hang out with me. We'll see if he hangs out with me or if he goes up to keep his brother company tonight. Um, yeah, he's just my little lap dog, just my little lap puppy. Oh, my gosh. All right, you, you want to get down for a minute? Because you're wallering me to death. Oh, okay, I know. All right, you love your daddy. You love your pop pops. John Pierce said, Flood and Fluter stopped the dusting chores to say hello. <laughs> Tim Titus said, Bogart, 
Ken Faulkner's in the hive. Max Fox said Bees was talking about what people were carrying, and the pup decided to show off his carry. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. That is his uh his current carry. <laughs> That's what he's flipping and flicking right now. What's up, Michael Warren and Kevin Weiniger and Michael? What's up? How you doing, Renee Ramon and Aries EDC's in the hive and Marco and Todd Carr? What's up, Lacey? ADC and Lace is in here and the puppy chaps in here and Mrs. Bees is out with the girls. I don't know when she'll be back. She said she was going to try to get him to go axe throwing. Now, I'm telling you what, is that a knife wife? Or, I mean, I, she can't say she's tired of knives because she talks, if they finally get to go out, it is impossible for her to, and the girls to get to go out. And they go out and she wants to, after they eat, she wants to go axe throwing. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Isn't that the most awesome thing ever? What's up, Trouble Bunny? Trouble Bunny, that sounds like trouble. I mean, it's in the name, right? Hold on, let me find it. There it is, Brian Kerr with the one year. Dude, can you believe that? I can't believe it. A one solid here already. Let me uh, do a little. Oh, I have a, I have my new T-shirt that I got when I got my new uh, Devo Stout version two. Ver version two. I have my Dark Matter T-shirt on. Dark mode. Blade binge, baby. Um, everyone in here that's in here right now probably knows about Blade binge, unless you're a newbie. Hey, is there anyone that's a new watcher? Somebody that's in here for the first time, you haven't said anything, you haven't commented. You're like, I don't want to say anything because I don't know anything about knives. Or you might be a knife pro, or you might be in here like, all right, what's this, what's all the, what's this about? What, what's this knife? What's this knife thing? What's this live at the hive? Uh, dude, we talk about knives and we talk about gear and everyday carry gear and all kinds of freaking fun stuff. And I'll see if I have any sweet Korean snacks left that top dog sent i'm not sure oh michael welcome to scalbies with a super chat Ooh, michael Shaka let me see shaka shakarian shakarian michael shakarian did i say that close i try my best dude we have a new scalbies all you current bees bladers welcome our new member Dude, this is exciting. We're we're getting we're getting started. We're get we're I mean, uh, uh Todd Carr, he said, "What's up knives are live?" What's up knives are live? Splitty slices is in the hive. That is dude, it's so good to see you all. Silvano, what's up Gons? He said, "What up peeps?" Top dog throwing up some emojis. You know what? I'll just show you this pretty pretty one. I know you've all been seeing it for probably, I don't know, 2-3 weeks now. But boy, oh boy, is the Kaiser Militaw in black titanium and fat purple carbon fiber, a little bit of carbon fibre. Let me get you in here and get you a nice close look. I mean, would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its carbon fiberness. Ooh, smack daddy. What's up, Dana? Dana's in the hive. Top Dog said that knife is so freaking sweet. Top Dog, um, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't be doing stuff and things. Yeah, I don't have Mrs. B's to help watch the puppy. So, yeah, look at this. This, I mean, wow. You talk about the best possible colorway you could you could think of. What's up, Anton? He said, second time watching the live. Anton, dude, it is so freaking cool, man. I'm glad you're here. And all you families out there, um, hey, Where's everybody watching from? That's that's what I want to know. What city or state or country are you watching from right now? And uh, just so you know, David Coolis with the super chat. He said, I had to see my, send my Devo Pony Stout back for exchange. The liner lock was horrible on it. And I was missing a screw right out of the box. Oh, no. Dude, you know what? That's what's... <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, the one that I that I have, I haven't had that problem. Dang, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad that you're getting another one. So sounds like all is gonna be well. That I that adds that's actually one of the knives that I carried today is the Devo Pony Stout. Man, sorry to hear that. Uh, Fook Dusley said, "I've never been here before. My journey's in the hive." That's what I'm talking about. Dana is located outside of San Antonio, Texas, baby. Knives or Life is Rhode Island. Where's everybody else from? James Carr said, been 
Ben, I got 100 burning. Oh, you got a hundred dollars burning a hole in your pocket. What should I buy? Knifeless in Florida. Oh my gosh. Um, all right. So we will have people in here. Give, give you ideas. I'll give you some ideas. I have some on the table that are under a hundred. And then I have a playlist. I have several playlists. If you just go to, if not right now, <laughs> but if you go to Bees Blades YouTube channel, go to my main channel, click on my picture icon or whatever. If you look at the top, there's community tab and different tabs. There's a, there's a uh, playlist tab. And I have playlists, knives 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 60 to 100. I guarantee you're looking for something in the 60 to 100 range. The hard part is, is, is which one? <laughs> I would start with the newest video and, you know, take a look at it. If you don't like it, skip to the next one. And, and then you'll, you'll automatically see a bunch of stuff about that knife. Robert Feely said, I just bought Casey's Devo Stout and I'm holding out for the Vostid Anklio. Yes. My review uh, of the Anklio will be coming out soon. I'm going to drop my video on the day that the new Vostid Anklio releases. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Did anyone see the video that dropped tonight? Matter of fact, one hour ago. So if you haven't watched it, turn on another device and let that video play. You can always watch it later or open up another window tab or something. Support the channel. Right now is the magic hour when if you watch the whole thing through and you click the thumbs up button, you just let it play. Let the ads play. Let the whole thing play. That'll tell YouTube, hey, let's show it to more people. And that's how we find more friends and more people in the knife community. People that they have one knife or they're thinking about getting a pocket knife or they might have a collection like I did of a bunch of cheap knives. And they're they're looking. And that's how they discover. That's how I discovered was – all of us pushing out videos. It was a, it was videos that got me here. Ron Meg said, I'm using Express VPN and watching from North Korea. Ron, dude, I'm gonna have to learn about that uh that Express VPN. I, I was I'm interested in in that kind of thing. Should I ever get to travel to another country and check out knives? Made you look. Anthony said, just bought the Kaiser Serepe set. All four of them are awesome. Oh, you got the set. Dude, what that set you back? I bet that wasn't too hateful since it was a set of four. Brian F said, hey, bees, I love the new Vosti. Definitely will be grabbing that one. Um, let's see. Which one are we talking about? Um, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Is that the I, – do I even have that one on the table? I just, <laughs> let's see. Where – where's the new Vosti? Do I uh, – it's blue. I know it's blue, and it's my Carta. Where in the world is, what, what did I do? Hold the bus. I just, I just released the video of the new Vosteed and did I put it up when I was putting up knives? What, what did I do with it? Oh my gosh. Holy cow. So that means another knife is going to be on the table. What? I sure as heck did. <laughs> Uh, it's the what is it the something or other saurus tankosaurus tankosaurus rex this is the knife that the video just dropped on if you want to know more about this knife go uh, watch that video there are some there's some things you need to know about this knife my journey's been a member for one month oh wait a minute hold on i i have to uh back up here just a second just a hot second. Bear with me. David Coolis did not get the Amera here because he had a $10 super chat. David! Got it in there. That's what I'm talking about. Whew, almost missed it. You guys got to let me know. If somebody donates $10 hairs or more, they get the Amera here. You got to remind me. You know, You know how my mind thinks. Knives are Life said, please wish my daughter Sophie happy birthday. She watches with Sophie. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy, happy birthday to you. That is exciting. There's nothing like being a kid and having a birthday. Bogart, what are you doing? What you got there? I'm telling you, watch having him is like having a toddler. What you got there, bud? You want to show him what you got? Huh? Here. You want to show him? You want to here? Let me see what you got. Let's see what you got. Here. Let's see what you got out of the uh, laundry. Here. Come on. 
Oh, what you got there, huh? He's a retriever. He likes retrieving because he's such a good puppy. Such a good puppy. What's up, homers? He's such a good puppy boy. Oh, I, I didn't say you have to go all, all nuts now. And hold on. I'm me. It's been a member for two months with a super chat. And I'm me used his super chat to say happy birthday, Sophie. How is that? Isn't that some sweet action? We love birthdays here at the Hive. We love special occasions. Um, if you have any kind of anniversaries, anything like that, we not only talk about knives, but we're also a knife community. We're a community of like-minded people that like to hang out. And if you're newer here, um, if, we're, if it's your first or your second or third time, you're already seeing that this is a fun place to hang out and that You'll recognize these names in no time. You'll get to know people. You'll get to know what kind of knives they like. It's That's just part of the fun. So, so one of the things that you discover when you get into the knife world or into the knife community, and then you have people like Terry T-Rex, who has been a member for 27 months with a super chat. He said, 27 and counting. Hope everyone is having a knife-tastic day. See, that's what I'm talking about. We even have our own language. Derek Poppenhagen said, hey, bees, bogey, and hive. So happy, happy birthday, Sophie. That is very exciting. That is very cool. Very, very cool. Um, so where, oh, yeah, let, let me, <laughs> let, me uh, let me just give you a taste. All right. Um, so everybody, uh, if you're sharpening your knives or if you're uh, fidgeting or if you're working on something, um, I'm going to show you a quick glimpse of what's on the table. A quick glimpse of what's on the table. Now, are you ready? Are you set? Go. And let's see what it is. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Uh, that was fun. Uh, other than intended purpose said, hey, y'all, rough couple of days, so I can't tag everyone. Leaning forward to type hurts. That's all right. You can sit back and relax and just hang out with us. Oh, tip. I hope your day gets better, my friend. And puppy, don't tear that up. That's that's your mom's. That's mama's. Top dog said, oh, surprise, it's knives. There, were, there I showed a quick flash of uh, something in the middle of the screen. There are, there are now, uh, let's see. Wait, wait a minute. Where's the knife? Oh, yeah. I have the new Vostede, and what is this thing called? It's called the the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, what is the name of this thing? I got I got to pull up my my knife list for for links for tonight. The moderators have it. Uh, let's see. Let me pull this up. Uh, okay, it is the. It's not the Hectare. It's not the Prado or Prado. It's not the Andromeda. It's not, it's the Tullaroras. <laughs> the the Tullaroras. I kid you not. Tullaroras, as in like dinosaur, the Tullaroras. This is the Bastide Tullaroras. Hopefully you have this video playing in on, hey, you could, uh, you could have your, your wife or your significant other pull up YouTube and pull up bees and have this video playing to support the channel. Just playing the video and letting the, letting the, uh, what do you call those things? Letting the, uh, you know, uh, insurance ads, all the ads play. Silvano said, was that the coin the John Wick knife had? The, um, oh, you saw, a, you saw a coin. Um, I don't think it's the one John Wick knife had. The Punisher said, anyone know what's going on with Knife Center's site? I checked it today and the Knife Center logo is very zoomed in and the icons are all over the place. Very interesting. Hey, where are you going? EDC and Lay said S90V is a hard to beat ultra high performance stainless steel. Easily my favorite stainless from Crucible. Ken Faulkner said El Cap, good to see you, my friend. Oh, there you go. Top Dog just put up the link to my video for the brand spanking new Vosteed. That one right there. It does have some good looking micarta. There are, uh, might be a couple issues with it. I talk about it in the video. Just saying. T-Fetch said blue is the best knife color. Fight me in the comments. <laughs> it's on. Canal Wright said, did the Tullaroras just drop? Um, 
the Tolararis, you yes, you can go get it and it ships. Uh, when's the fourth? What's today? The 29th, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4. It ships in six days. Ken Faulkner gifted five Bees Blades memberships with a super chat. And guess who got the memberships? Knives Are Life, Don Durr, Robo, Robo Stevio, Derek Poppenhagen, and Steven Wallace. And Bogart is back. Guess who's back, back, back. The Punisher said, I'm thinking maybe they're doing some work on the site or something. Everyone else works as usual, but the rest of it seems odd. Made me think they got spoofed or something. Very weird. Very, very weird. Fook Newsley said, I wish I could get, get gifted a membership while already a member and gain a month to my account. Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be something? Betty Davis had soldier, sh shoulder. She had so shoulder, shoulder. That's like me, me trying to say Arnold Palmer. Shoulder surgery. How you doing, Betty? Are you all hopped up on pain pills? <laughs> Fluffy Delgado with the super chat. And he's been a member for 1.5 years. Years. He said, happy Friday, Hive. I'm going to have to check out that Bastide tuberculosis. <laughs> See, you guys make me laugh. You're just, you're funny. I love your humor. The Vastid uh, Combobolot, uh, Conjabarat. No, um, but what is it? It's the, uh, this name, I, I'm telling you, uh, it's going to be hard for the Tal, 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 Oh my goodness. That was me trying my best. Tal, T-A-L-A-R-U-R-U-S. Oh my gosh, that's going to have to be a hashtag because we are doing a giveaway or two tonight. We'll see if you, if you all remember to get us enough uh, thummy uppies. Um, I do have some uh, wonderful prizes and I do have a Bogart rock over here too. Oh, 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 I just thought of something. Do you all know what um, you can see? The first thing I do when I op open a package and there's a, a knife on it, I put the date so I know the date it came in. Because people get put in line, except for this one isn't one for review. Oh, no. Oh, no. This and this and right here is a premium remet for giveaway. And we're going to give it away tonight. And this is a premium knife. This ain't no joke right here. You just, you just, uh, you just wait and see. If you were here last week, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Let me just get out this, uh. Arctic, no, not Arctic. What is it called? Fat? No. Uh, well, it is fat carbon. Um, what is this called? Crazy mustard stain? No. Um, it's got a name. But this is the newest version of the chili pepper. The chili pepper. Fluffy Delgado has been a member for 18 months. He said, happy Friday, Hive. I'm going to have to check out the Vosti. And I just read that. That's Well, that's what I do. I read what's on the screen. I'm like Ron Burgundy. Um, let me let me uh, get this remet out very carefully. Oh yeah, I like it when a knife sharp. They call it mellow yellow. Fat carbon jungleware. The word we were looking for was jungleware. This is fat carbon jungleware. Let's get in there and get a little look at this jungleware. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it and all of its jungleware-ness. It's not too bad. I would take jungle wear over, um, what's that other kind? Uh, nebula. I would prefer jungle wear over nebula myself. That's my, my preference. Toxic carbon, Dwayne K said. Toxic carbon. It's a little toxic. Um, oh, does, you know, I'm just going to ask a quick question and then we'll move on. Is there anyone that knows someone that's just toxic? Like, you're like, why do you have to be a Debbie Downer? Does everything have to be that way? I mean, I'm I'm sure we have a couple pessimists in the hive. There's always with this with a hundred people in here, there has to be pessimists. But I mean, some people are aren't just pessimistic. They're they're just toxic. Like they're not happy and they don't want you to be happy. El Cap said, "I agree. That looks better than oh wow." So I'm going to give an option tonight. When we do this giveaway, y'all remind me, lest I forget, I'm going to give um, an option 
Um, let's see here. Give me just a second. My my screen seems to be over to the to the side farther than normal, but I'm going to give an option to someone, whichever version they want of the Peregrine, the Remet. I'm going to be careful not scratch them up. The Remet Peregrine Falcon. Whoever wins the giveaway is going to get their choice between the one with uh, between this one. With the uh, flame anode titanium. Look at that. Oh, mama. Did you guys see the video on this bad boy? With the button. The flame anodized titanium. Or this version. Both of them are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Eating C and Lace uh, said, I wasn't speaking about fixed blades. Dwayne Case said, remember to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, click all, and hit the notification bell. Um, oh my gosh, the uh, detent on this thing is, oh, that's right. This one, you have to put your finger out farther to flick it. Are you hearing this? James Carr said, oh boy, those make me all tingly. <laughs> Dana said, that's a tough choice. Kurt said, my daughter, Sierra and Autumn say hi. Hello, Sierra and Autumn. Welcome to the hive. Hope you're having a great night. Robo said, the black one looks like it could have been carried by a Power Ranger. <laughs> you know what? It does look Power Ranger-ish. Just a little bit. It does kind of look a little Power Ranger-ish. Huh. Well, that is that is a good looking knife right there. I'll tell you what. Ooh, Mox Fox Hobby said I want to win, but that would hurt me to pick between those. They're both really nice. Yeah, someone's gonna have to make a tough decision tonight. It's gonna be one of y'all. Terry T Rex said I'll just save you some time and claim the all titanium one now. <laughs> uh, so the Peregrine Falcon, man, it's pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice. I like the way it looks. You're going to like the way it looks. Doesn't it look really cool? It looks so good. Uh, Silvano said, hopefully I make it till the end. Five hours later. Or he said five hours later here. <laughs> Silvano is five hours ahead of us. In the future, Robo said, I, I call dibs on the Power Ranger one. Robert Feely said, I hope I have to make that tough decision. Here's the, here's the non-Power Ranger one. Whoo, boy, she is she pretty. Oh, she pretty. Top Dog said, need me one of those remettes. Canal Wright said, did Masters research paper on Peregrine Falcon reintegration? I would love, oh, did one. Did it, did Master, did Masters research. Now I get it. On Peregrine Falcon reintegration. I would love to win one. Dude, those Peregrine Falcons are awesome. When they're diving, they go over 200 miles per hour. 200. Think think of that. Think of that speed. 200 miles an hour, and this is a bird, right? Not a man-made speed car, supercar. We're talking about a bird diving 200 miles an hour. That's where man gets all of our ideas on aerodynamics and everything is from animals like birds and fish. And that's why knives are often model after birds and fish because they kind of have the same deal you know not that they need aer <laughs> aerodynamics but uh boy oh boy this blade is just kicking i mean it is kicking edc and lace said also the toughness of 4v will be at a much lower hrc where edge retention greatly falls off to well below that of s35 vn uh, Top Dog said, I can run almost that fast. Top Dog can almost run 200 miles an hour. Here's the Kingfisher. We gave one away last week, and it was on the channel this week. This is another very – this one was given away last Friday. Can you believe that? I mean, can you believe it? I mean, just look at it. Wow. Dwayne K said, I've seen videos of them hitting rabbits and other prey. Yeah. They, they go, shoo, boom, and you see like the duck just go poof, and then the bird 
circles back and then comes and gets its prey because they just knock it out. Just pow, right in the kisser. Robo said, I can run that fast if you chase me with a spider. John Pierce said, I really like the profile of that. This blade, I love this blade shape. It is so useful. I, I love my wee knife with this blade shape. I can't remember what that wee knife is called. I can't remember them all, people. Tyler Brown said, I like that knife. Remet is killing it. Man. Uh, Otip said, when I was a trooper, I was radar tracked at 235 miles per hour on jumps. And we have those falcons here in this in this country. I see them sometimes. Uh, Canal Wright said, they basically crash into prey to kill it. They steal food from other birds that way too. Yeah, I mean, there's no bird, there's no animal on the planet that fast to the best of my recollection. Ron Dobbins said, my EDC today is the Devo Mash and an EMP Nimble. Ooh, you got a nice carry today. Very nice carry. Um, So I carried this bad boy, the Pony Stout. That was one of my carries. Um, I was at home today making some content and doing some editing. So I, I went through several knives. I cut up a bunch of cardboard today. So this is my cardboard destroyer right here. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Manix 2. Uh, the Manix 2 lightweight, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, Manix 2. It's so good. Oh, there you go. Brian Brian F. just put up a link to the Peregrine Falcon with a $40 off code. Dwayne K. said, I saw them hit other birds in flight. Didn't know what hit them. Oh, yeah, they can't. They don't see it coming. It's like, shabow. JD for EDC said, oh, man, not the premium My Little Pony rock on. <laughs> yes, it is. Robo said, I carried my Gonzo Special Natrix today and couldn't keep my shorts up. Well, dude, you're supposed to tie them. You got to tie the shorts. JD said, B's at Manix 2 Lightweight need some AWT scales, buddy. Uh, AWT, American with Americans with teeth. What is AWT? Um, too many. I am not an acronym person. AWT. Uh, somebody tell me, what is AWT? So what, what kind of scales can I get for my uh, Manix 2? This isn't my favorite color choice, but this was the one that was on sale. I got this for $70. 70 doll hairs. I was like, sold. I don't care what color it is. Mr. D. Edelman with the 10 doll hair super chat. He said, I'm enjoying my new Asher Spiro Awarney because he's feeling a little worn cliffy. And S90V and silver carbon fibre. It's party. Dude, I got to give that a like. Uh. Double up. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. There we go. Mr. Edelman with the 10 doll hairs. And all you kids that are watching with your with your family, with your pops and your moms and your aunts and uncles and grandpas and grandmas. I'm so happy you're here. I'm very glad you're here. This is exciting to know that you are with family and you're watching uh, about content. I got, I'm not, well, I don't want to make... <laughs> I don't want to ruin the night of, of these uh, parents, uh, but I was particularly younger when I got my first knife and I've always carried knives my, my entire life since I was a kid. Times were different. Um, each parent has their own rules, so I'm not going to persuade or should I? Um, there is a Kin, K-I-N knife set you can get for the for the younger younger ones that aren't ready to have a knife yet or you know uh, there's always this was in my pocket the victorinox 580 you guys already know i always carry this bad boy it has fingernail tactical fingernail clippers for all the tactical fingernails out there swing swing i use these all the time for the little swing swings these little dudes so they don't start to hurt thank you very much mr edelman for the 10 doll hairs Tyler Brown said American with Americans with teeth. <laughs> yes. Applied wombat tuning fork. <laughs> you know, that that would be if you started a knife company or a widget company and it called it applied wombat tuning fork, I would buy something just so I could say I own something from applied wombat tuning fork. That is that's priceless. I love it. Dwayne K said, pew, pew, I had since around 11 or 12. Yes, I got my first first 12 gauge when I was eight years old. Uh, but I, I used to, you know, I was out on a farm. I got, I got paid $5 for groundhog, just saying. Because my grandpa and groundhogs were at war because they would dig a big hole and then 
It, he risked uh, breaking we wheels on the tractor and stuff like that. He did not like groundhogs. And I got really good at hunting them. And I got good at stalking them. I could walk all the way up to them. I was, I, I'm not good at many things, but groundhog hunting, I can do that. And I didn't need a rifle. I did it with a shotgun. I got, I would get close range because they have terrible eyesight. They can see motion, kind of like a rhinoceros. So they would turn, if I would be creeping, right? And it, they would stand up and turn around and look right at me. And whatever, wherever I was at, I would freeze. And then they would look around and they'd go back to eating. And then I would take another step. I'd be 300 yards out and I could slowly walk all the way up to them. Dwayne Case said, I've had a knife since, oh yeah, I just read that. Um, Top Dog said, I bet Bogey would be good at, oh dude, Bogey would, he would, here's the thing. If I took, if I took him rabbit hunting, he would be like the dog I grew up with. Her name was Restless. And she was so extremely fast that she would jump a rabbit and take off after it. And I'd go like this and I couldn't shoot because she would be too close to it. She'd be right on its tail. Oh my goodness. Uh, Pedro said hunting skinwalker. <laughs> Robert Vance said uh, guns, not pew pews. What are, what are we three? Guns, not pew pews. What are we three? I don't know. Robo said armadillos are like that. You can sneak up on them really easy if you take your time. Well, and you know, here's another animal you can walk right up to, even if they see you, is a skunk. Anybody ever do that? You can walk right up to a skunk. If you're calm, you can get, I mean, like six feet, seven feet. As long as you're showing that you're just chilling and you're not doing anything, a skunk will, will look up at you and then go back to eating. They, they know when to be concerned. And Depends on the skunk. Some of them are a little more temperamental, but most of the time you can, you can, if you don't startle a skunk, you can, you can walk up to it and throw a blanket over it. Uh, James Carr said, just like T-Rex hunting. Greg said, I'll trust you on the skunk thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've trapped a couple skunks in my time. And here's the thing. They'll be in the trap. They're not happy, but they haven't sprayed. You get a, get an old blanket and you just hold it up. And, you know, their depth perception isn't that great either, skunks. But you can slowly walk up to the trap and just lay the blanket over the trap. And then gently pick up the trap with the blanket over top of it and set it in the back of your truck and it won't spray. You just you just have to be, you have to be calm about it. Grim Drake said, I've trapped a skunk too. Uh, Silvano said, not a lot of wildlife in Belgium. Uh, we're pretty fortunate. We have pretty good amount of wildlife here in Ohio. Uh, Dwayne Case said, sometimes YouTube frowns on mentioning that word in knife channels. Oh, yeah, such as pew pew. Yeah, YouTube can be really weird about that kind of stuff. And then, you know, put a put a strike on the on the live stream and then not let ads to be played for the watchbacks. The, yeah, they're weird. They're weird like that. Betty Davis has been a member for nine months with a super chat. <laughs> Betty Davis always, I mean, Betty Davis, the day you finally win something, we're going to, we're going to buy you a cake. <laughs> I mean, not really, but I mean, uh, it'll happen. Grim Drake said, that's exactly what I did with the skunk. And I released it a few miles away. No spray. Yeah. You don't have to get sprayed by a skunk unless you cough at the wrong time. or <laughs> If you happen to sneeze when you're really close to it. Ron Dobbin said, Blade Walker, how's your day going? Um, so I'm going to show you, let's see what, uh, okay. Our time is good. Our time is good. We, we have, I have a good itinerary, a lot of stuff to do tonight. We have plenty of time to do it. Mrs. B's. I don't even know if what time she'll be back or when she'll be down. We'll, we'll find that out. Um, let me show you what's on the table and then remind me after we take a quick look, we're not going to go through them all, but we're going to take a quick look at the knives that were on the channel this week on different vid, excuse me, on different videos. And after I show you what's on the ta table, we'll come back to them. Don't worry. We'll go, we'll check out each knife. Then we're going to run over and see what's on blade binge. And cause there's people in here that aren't familiar with blade binge, but let's add. And it's time for me to get a spring picture. I'm going to have to get us a, a spring picture, but <clears throat> let's check out what's on the table. Let's see what we got going on here. Look at all that cool stuff. 
We have all the new Kaisers that dropped. Here's the new Kaiser Comet. This this uh, micarta on the Kaiser Comet and the Kaiser Feist, man, it is such good, such good stuff. I mean, it's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for something over here on my screen, trying to find it. Let's see if I can find it. Man, did I not put... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is the Best Tech Knives Sombak. Look at that. Talk about Mr. Fancy Pants. Craig Vincent said, I sold a knife on Blade Binge this week within one hour of listing it. See, Blade Binge is the it's the place. It's just where it's at. Blade Binge, they you they they were formerly called Naf Sale. Eric, they they've made a name for themselves. <clears throat> they changed their name to Blade Binge, and it's so true. If you want to sell knives or buy knives on the secondary market, Blade Binge is where it's at. And besides that, they you can go buy brand new knives on Blade Binge. Any any brand you can imagine, it's probably on Blade Binge. Um, Brian F just put up a link to these new Kaisers, um, including the new Kaiser Militaw. Does anyone, did anyone notice anything new on the channel or any, anything new tonight? There's something that no one has ever seen that, that has been on this live stream that no one's ever seen before. Does anyone know what it is? Does anyone have any idea? It's something new that's never been around. <clears throat> no one's ever seen. Urban said, wow, there are not 500 people in the chat. Where is everybody? Oh, they'll be, don't you worry. They'll be filing in. Everybody always files in. What's up, Steve-O? Dwayne K said backdrop. No, nope, not the backdrop. Oh, yeah, and that, that's something else. Is I think this is my first. Um, let me adjust this uh, lighting because it's doing that whole um, weird thing. Let's see. The white balance is all funkadelic. What's going on with the white balance? Uh, it's either that or the exposure. Um, sometimes I have to mess with the compensation and the, or the lighting. It does this weird jiggity jaggity. That thing right there. Let's see. Where's that button that I can push? Um, I don't almost don't see it. Let's see. Processing. 50 hertz, 60 hertz. Let's see if 60 hertz changes it. Sometimes, actually, it's the uh, the color of the light that I'm using confuses it because I have two different. Uh, there we go. I have two different. You know that that didn't do it. Sometimes I have to mess around with it to uh, get it just right. And sometimes I can just turn off this light and use this. Eh, that's a little dark, but you know what? You can actually see a little more of the. Yeah, look at that. It makes that fat carbon pop with the, with the extra light off. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Ken Faulkner said, so are the poker chips available anywhere or just to look at? What uh, poker chips? Uh, what poker chips do you speak of? Top Dog said, get you some paracord goodies, Alice Paracord Crafts. Uh, yes, that is that, that's it. I didn't see anyone say anything about the poker chip until you said something. It's It looks like a poker chip. It's actually... Um, it's my first, it's the first Bees Blades challenge coin. And this one does look like a poker chip. And these, um, they're going to be in giveaways. I might find a way to uh, make these available to people. But there you go. Bees Blades on this side. And then on this side, look at this. Live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself. Has anyone ever heard me say that before? Have I ever said, oh yeah, look at here on the edge, it says Bees Blades. How about that? Mrs. Bees had these made. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Yeah, I, I, it probably is the size. It probably is a, a, like a poker chip. It looks like a poker chip. I think it looks really cool. I like the poker chip look. I think it's really, really neat. <clears throat> Like to have a, I would love to have a whole stack of them, you know, and they each, each one of them is worth $50. Oh, look at that. I'm rich. Um, challenge coins are not cheap to have, have designed or have made. <laughs> I'm telling you that boy, they're heavy. Tyler said, what's the name of those little folders in the center of the table? Those little folders are, these are the concept mini Corvid. 
Corvus Corax, the common raven. These are the mini Corvid. A couple new versions came out. There are over, there are at least 45 different configurations of the mini Corvid. Check it out. They're, they are a cool little knife. And you know, uh, truth be told, if you're just opening packages or anything like that, or this is, I would say, this would be a great office carry. I mean, what boss is going to be mad about this? I mean, really, does anyone work at a place that's that strict that would not let you have like a mini Corvid? I mean, really? <clears throat> What's up, Robert P? Yeah, these these this one here is very cool. I like the looks of this. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see me here on the little screen, but check that out. Look at that. That's and I thought it was going to be slick, but it's not slick. It actually has really good texture to it. It has good texture. It has good texture vision. So I can set these out here like this. And wait a minute, something just happened. Hold the bus. Hold the bus. LCV Blades Edge. Welcome to Scout Bees. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Welcome. LCV Blade Edge. Blades Edge. I can't talk. Welcome to Scout Bees. BFV Gunner said, did the Mrs. Bees get them from Combat Bet? Uh, yes, BFV Gunner. These did come from Combat Bet. Very good. <laughs> you knew exactly where these came from. That's pretty good. Yes, because she works at the police department, and that's where they had some made. How about that? Anthony Rollins said, in Kentucky, you get ridiculed if you don't have a knife with the three-and-a-half-inch bladed pocket knife at all times. Lou said, the mini Corvette is good for butchering tiny chicken McNuggets. <laughs> Tyler Brown said, is the titanium one worth picking up over the others? They all look good to me. Um, I would say the only difference is, well, other than price, the titanium one is a frame lock. So these, I mean, th there's a bunch of different ones of, of both kind, but this is a liner lock, the black one. And then this one is a frame lock. So if you like the idea of a frame lock, you could go with titanium. And let me uh, give you a little upsy closey of this titanium one. It does look very cool. It has the dimples. It's all dimply. Dimplies, believe it or not. Check it out. It is a cool little knife. I really like it. BFB Gunner said, I found out about Combat Bet at SHOT Show. I've got a few from them advertising different companies, and my favorite is American Sniper's Shugart Gordon Tribute. Butter Knife said, Hail Damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a hail damage knife. Uh, hail hail damage from titanium. Titanium hail damage. I really like the sound of that. LCV said, thank you, everyone. Uh, can't think of a better way to spend my money, although that AD15 for 50 bucks is tempting. Dude, you can get an AD15 for 50? Is that is that a more budget version? I think that's probably what's going on. LCV Blades Edge said, should I pull the trigger on it? For 50 bucks? What's what's the blade steal on it? $50, AD15. Is the AD15 the one that you uh, you pull the top up? Is that the one we're talking about right now? I think so. Byron, where are you going? Oh, Byron. Byron's back from vacation. I was going to ask how that went. Are you leaving already? You came in and you're leaving? Where you, where'd you go, Slice? I call him Slice for short. He said, we'll be back in full force next week in the Atlanta airport for 30 minutes. Oh, okay. So he's he's still on his way back home. Well, I'm glad you made it back to the U.S. of A safely, man. Yeah, who here carries a, is, carries a knife at work? I do. Dwayne K. said, Cold Steel has some light versions in 8CR, I think, that are cheaper. Mox Fox said, as Miss Bees says, purchase what's in your cart. Yeah, she does. She says, buy what's in your cart. That's usually how she ends her, uh, her part of the live stream before she heads to bed. Prado 24 gifted one Bees Blades membership with a super chat. Prado 24. And who got this 
let's see who got who got it who got it thomas wheeler congratulations on the gifted membership from prado hey hcr is not a bad steal there there's a time and place for hcr i'm telling you what i have no problem with it if you're not doing hard cutting or heavy cutting hcr works well um if, if you're uh, cutting food you're not going to have any problems with ACR, not to mention it drops up so easy. And it is it is, it is it is the steel that I recommend you learn how to sharpen knives on just because you won't get discouraged. There's a, I think, I feel, and IMO, in my humble opinion, IMHO, that sounds like uh, the people that complain if you put something out in your yard, that's an HMO. Anyway, I digress. Um, I, me personally, I think that a thin blade with eight CR is just so good for someone to learn how to sharpen with because there's the discouragement factor. If you get D two and you go to Harbor Freight and get a stone and you can't get it sharp and you just keep rounding the edge, you might get discouraged and think you don't know how to sharpen when it's just, you haven't perfected how to hold it yet. You got to know how to hold it, right? You got to know when to hold them. Pop a bit. Papa Pita said, bees in the beard. Bees in that beard. Bluetooth said, I carry one all day until I go to bed where I have a SIG under the pillow. Yes, I, I, have, I have a Glocky Glock right at hand at night. And then in the, in the corner is my Wingmaster 870. And my Wingmaster 870 has my grandpa's social security number etched onto it. Kid you not. That's back when people weren't afraid for people to get <laughs> to get their social because there wasn't a, such a thing as identity theft. TD TDF0907 said I carry a knife at work. Fleet maintenance technician. Oh yeah. Got it gotta have the fleet maintenance. I carry an old beater SOG because it's a brutal environment. And ironically I have it chucked up in the work in the work sharp tonight. Yeah getting it sharp backed up. Uh Anthony Rollins said HCR is Chinese direct copy of Japanese OS 8. Bill Stoner said, if I purchased what was in my cart on Amazon, I'd be thousands in debt. And if I did it on all sites, I'd be five figures in debt. Oh, man, I'm, I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Todd Carr said the Aust 10 AD 15 at 50 bucks is a solid price. Haven't seen the regular AD 15 and S35VN for less than 120 on sale. The mechanism is strong, but takes a bit to get used to. Personally, prefer the AD 10. Yeah, I would get it in Austin. I would get it for Austin for sure. I'm going to get my AD15. So all of you folks that don't know which knife we're talking about, since it came up, that's the kind of thing we do here on the live stream. Let me see if I can find my AD15. And it's right here. It's in my fancy, fancy, dancy Apache case, but I, because I ain't got no Pelican money. Ain't no way. Here is. The cold, uh, let's see. Let's uh, take this out for a second and update my chat. This is the Cold Steel AD15. It is very cool. And you know how Cold Steel overbuilds their knives. This sucker is tough. I mean, it is tough. Jeff Bacon said, I'm suffering analysis. Oh, where'd it go? I'm suffering analysis paralysis on which sharpener to get so many good choices yeah dude that's a tough one that is whew, that is that is a very tough decision to make uh without a doubt here's the 8015 this one has s35 vn and i'm gonna clean the blade off here i'm gonna clean it here's the 8015 boy is it a tough knife Dog one said a coach pew pew and a holster down in the nightstand. Prado said when I was able to work, I carried a knife at work every day, normally a folding razor knife. Tyler Brown said they make the mini Corvid as a fixed blade. Do they really? Oh my gosh. I have, I have a link to the mini Corvid. Uh, the uh, moderators have it. You go from one end down to the other, show you this beautiful 8015. Bluetooth Blade said he really, really needs an AD15. Well, I mean, 50 bucks with OS 10. I mean, why not? I mean, you don't always have to get Super Steel. 
I mean, what are you doing with your knife? You know, if you're not out like hard using your knife, me, me personally, I really do like S35 VN. There's just something about the, the stickiness and something else I noticed, something I noticed about, uh, the Militaw that I don't know, maybe it's just in my head, but when I, when I have a knife and I feel the edge, there's a certain, um, the toothiness, this S45 VN is toothy too. I forgot that yeah, I'm pretty sure this is S45 VN. I don't know. I have to put it up on the screen so I can read it. Let me see. Militaw number 162. I'm almost certain. Yeah, there you go. S45 VN. This is nice and toothy. It's grabby. It grabs the epithelials of your skin. I love that. That means it's just gonna it's gonna slice in. <laughs> you better be careful. BFB Gunner said I got spider codes made with OS 6, OS 8, and OS 10, and have never had a problem with them. JD for EDC with the two dollars here. Super chat. He said the 8010 S35VN is 113 on Amazon right now. We'll use B's Blades link to go to Amazon and then get you one. BFB Gunner said my Spiderfly was my first OS 10 knife and it's never been sharpened. Brian F said the 8015 was 50 bucks. One says it's in a blister pack and no box. Great deal, but won't ship to my location. What? Blister pack and no box. Won't ship. Why in the world wouldn't it ship to you in Michigan? I don't understand that. Bluetooth Blade said both my hinderers are S45BN. Man, you know what? I'd like to have a... Uh, a chef's knife in S45 VN, but boy, you, you're gonna you're gonna pay out the nose for S45 VN in a chef's knife. There you go. Todd and Dwayne just put up. You go, you can go to my Amazon shop. That'll get you to that'll get you to Amazon. Then you then just search Cold Steel 8015. You can go check out this bad boy. <clears throat> Tell you what, we're gonna check out right meow. Right meow is uh make sure I'm not gonna run over the dog. You see, I have my dark mode shirt from Blade Binge. I'm look at this. I'm layered tonight. Got my dark mode shirt on. Let's check them out real quick. I'm gonna share a screen because you know we always check out Blade Binge and see what's happening. Dark mod collabs. There you go. This is Blade Binge. The fr front of the the website. Uh, I'm hoping he's. I'm hoping he's gonna do a little bit more with it because when you go to it, it um, if you're not familiar with blade bins, you might be like, uh, what's this? So I think it, it needs a little, it needs a little sprucing up because it's a lot more than you think it is. You go to all knives on blade binge. Uh, there you go. Dwayne K just put up the new blade bin shop. That's where I'm at here. You can go to all knives and buy new knives. Like, uh, you can, you can get shoot. Look at this. There's just. It, it, look, there's 850 pages of brand new knives, but that's not the marketplace. You go over here to shop marketplace, and this is the what we usually talk about. This is the secondary market. This is where you can get any knife that you want. Now, the only thing, let me see. I missed the front page that you, that, okay, here's the front page. <clears throat> ready to binge, ready to binge, baby. This is where you can buy knives, sell knives. And you can repeat, take a part in the growing community of knife enthusiasm. Here's the shot. Here's the marketplace. EDC accessories, grails, made in the USA, and budget friendly. Um, I, I had uh, I had a raccoon in my hand today. Um, Nick Martino said it's like Blade HQ, but online. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the. In, when, right there, if, if you want to get someone a gift, the Victorinox Red Swiss Army Multi-Tool Tinker. That's Is that a tinker? But that right there, that's sold by uh, Hato Productions right there. 17 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. It's a great price for $17 hairs. Are you kidding me? 17 bucks is good. <clears throat> NFK20 said, I've been in a funk for two days now, and I don't know what to do. Dude, just hang out with us. Just hang out. Let us know what you're carrying. There's a K-Bar Dozier for 20 bucks if we want to get you a Dozier. An Ethan Grow Dark for 20 bucks. 
So you can go on here and just get you a beater, a CH knives, CH 3528 for 20 doll hairs. Uh, Kenpo Fish, let me show that. Kenpo said he has a nib burgundy Civivi Elemented for sale on there for 38 bucks free shipping. Let me let's let's uh see if we can do a search. Let's go here and search. What's your username? Or wait, uh, let's see, let's do this. Civivi Elementum. I have typed Elementum so many times over the last couple of years, it just flows. Look at that. From Kenpo Fish, who has four five-star reviews, a 2.96-inch black stone wash D2 blade, burgundy G10 scales, liner lock flipper, never carried or cut, only out of the box for pictures, making a good deal on the knife. He's selling this for 38 doll hairs, free shipping in the U.S. That's a good-looking elementum right there. Mox Fox said, blinker fluid. Well, I have a uh, a blink emoji, a blinker emoji, and no one's used it. Todd Carr is talking to Silvano. <clears throat> so that's very cool. There's another Elementum. I like the red one. The red and black is a perfect, perfect color, colorway. But this is Blade Bench. If you want to buy knives that people are selling, or you can sell. You go in here, make an account, take pictures of the knife. When someone buys it, Blade Bench sends you the shipping, and you just ship it to whoever bought it. There's no middleman. You don't have to post on Facebook and listen to people saying, still still selling or interested or will you this, blah, blah, blah. And on Blade Binge, they can contact you and say, hey, uh, would you take five bucks off? I'll buy it. And you'd be like, yep, sold. Just like that. LCV Blade said, I really enjoy this. You guys made my, make my, made my night for real. Dude, the night is young. It is young. Craig Vincent said, check out my six leaf SL24. All right, see? We're, look at this. We're wheeling and dealing. If you have a knife you want to sell, by all means, I don't mind when you're in here on the live stream. By all means, sell, trade knives. Have at it. That's what we're doing. This is the knife community. I mean, where else can you go and meet this many knife nuts at one in one place? You know what I mean? Um, let's see. What am I looking up? I'm looking up a six leaf something. Uh, let's see. Six leaf SL24. Let's see what shows up. Fish bag. Yep. There, uh, don't be a leaf. Don't be leafy. <laughs> don't stop. Be leafing. Uh, price drop 30, 37 bucks. That's a pretty cool looking knife. He said, just when you were about to give up because you thought you'd never find that awesome titanium and carbon fiber six leaf at a decent price. I enter your life. That's good news for you, my friend. Yes, I call you friend. And since we're now friends, I can let you have this beast of a folder at a price that I would sell it to my sister for. Caution. We don't actually want my sister to get her hands on it. She's even more beastly. And the two of them together would not bode well for the knife. <laughs> that is the best. That is the best ad ever. And really? $37? That's a that's a lot of cool knifeness with titanium. That's a sweet knife for 37 bucks. Dude, that is pretty cool. Knife wife said green gray micarta sin cut saxy. This guy at BK is carrying a birthday knife. What? A birthday knife? Are you are you serial right now? Bluetooth blade said hit the like guys if you haven't already. But yeah, we could get lost forever. On Blade Binge. We'll come back to them. Don't you worry. We will be back. We shall be back. Doy Doyle said, I I hated Civivi, had issues with one. I bought what I one I bought was never going to look at them again. This alt issue gave me is becoming my EDC. Thanks, bees. You're very welcome, Doyle. I'm glad I'm changing your mind. Yeah, you can't you can't judge a knife company by one knife. That is for sure. And, you know, if you think about it, if a company makes a thousand knives, there's inevitably going to be one with a flaw or something that was missed because, well, it just happens. So send it back. And, you know, that's a, that's why Amazon's a good place. Just saying, you go on Amazon and buy, you can go buy a Spyderco or whatever. You could buy any kind of knife on Amazon just about. And if you don't like it, you literally click the button to return and drop it off at the UPS store and it's free. You just, you just hand it to them. They scan your phone. They give you a receipt and you walk out. It's that easy. 
to get an, you can get another one sent. Michael Upchurch said, just put away my Neptune and pulled out my PF Deep Sea. Oh, watch out. He's got the pet five fish going on. What's up? What's up? Nessanders 311. How, how you doing? Hope you're having a good night. Bill said, I've got tons of knives I need to sell. Almost all brand new because I'm a knife addict. That's what I'm talking about. Or, or if you have one or two that you want to send to B's Blades to put in a giveaway, you could also do that. My mailing information is in the description of every video and every live stream. So if you ever want to send something to the channel to give away, to do something kind for someone, this is the place to do it because we, you know how we do, you know how we do giveaways. I've got, Oh boy, have I got some giveaways lined up. Oh my goodness. And tonight we're going to give away one of these knives right here. Whoever wins the particular giveaway that I'm talking about tonight is going to have to pick between one of these Romet Peregrine Falcons. They're going to have the hard choice of which Peregrine Falcon they want. That's going to be a tough choice for someone that wins. I mean, oh my goodness gracious. Look at those. Jeez, they look so good. They look so good. There you go. There's my address right there. Dwayne K just put my address up on the screen. Yowza. And I'm going to put this in tonight's giveaway too. The Bees Blades chip. The Bees Blades poker chip. Don't don't gamble. Go to Bees Blades. He'll tell you how, how good the knife is. And listen, if I mention something that is anything other than 100% positive, if you watch my channel, you know me well enough to know if I go, eh, or if I go, oh, that's kind of a warm spot, then that's something that another, any, uh, not any, that some other knife channel might trash. I don't trash knives, but I definitely tell you when there's a concern and I let you make the decision and go watch another video from another reviewer, get two or three opinions before you get it. So if I say, oh, I don't know about this pocket clip or I don't know about this or that, watch more than one review on the knife. And then we, if you decide to get it, come back to my channel and use my links because you love me. Or because you don't hate me? <laughs> Dwayne K said, welcome to anyone just joining us at Live at the Hive. Yoko said, international giveaway? Um, we'll see. We'll see. What's up? KC's in the Hive. Nice Fast from the Nice Fast channel. Can, the busiest knife reviewer on the planet. KC. Craig Vincent said, Bees, I can send you something for a giveaway. Do you want a SRM, Gonzo, Sabivi, or Petrified Fish, or a Cold Steel? Pick it. Well, geez, dude. Um, those are, I mean, they're all good. We've been talking about Cold Steel tonight. Cold Steel would be good. Actually, any of those would be just fine, man. Um, anybody that wins a knife usually uh, has no problem with whatever it is. That, now, if you want to send one of these for a giveaway, <laughs> you'll make someone's night. This is KC's favorite knife. He carries it every day. This is the only knife he carries. He doesn't carry anything from Tippett's knives. He just carries an 8015. And I don't remember why. Oh, yeah, that's right. Somebody in, was in here uh, thinking about getting it. Uh, Kurt said, nothing better than a bourbon and knives. Just poured some Maker's Mark. Nothing like bourbon and knives. Clarence said, I'm carrying the Kunwu Django from JD and LMAX. It has four mag magnets installed to improve the detent. It's freaking awesome. All stonewashed, darker gray. <clears throat> Jeff Bacon said, I'd like to see a new SRM. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them lately. Uh, I, I don't get a chance to hardly even get on Instagram. Like The only thing I use Instagram for is uh, pop it on there to, to answer companies or talk to other knife people. Uh, and it's usually brief and it's usually not very long because I just don't have the time. Craig Vincent said, I actually have one of those. I was holding back. See, I knew it. Tony's Pony said, hi, Beezers from a Welsh insomniac. Look at that. We have a Welsh in here tonight. An insomniac. That means it's probably like, what, five in the morning or something? Donald said, Bees, are you going to mod that 8015? Everyone told me that I need to mod it. And, you know, it's I'll just put it on my list of things to do. Um, uh, yeah, when I first got this, folks were telling me all these things I need to do to it. I mean, it's golly when I have this in my hand, I just want to go stick it in a tree stump. Just telling you, 
And this is the one that for some reason is easier for me to operate left-handed. OG scales. That's the one that everyone's telling me to get. Tyler Brown said Corgi pup is my, on my wish list would make a great dress knife. Michael Sh Shikaki, Shikarian, Shikarian. I'm going to have to get that down pat. Michael said, nice shirt. Thanks. This is from Blade Binge. Check it out. Dark mode, man. Dark mode. Come to the dark side. Embrace your anger. Or what does he say? Something like that. Um, let's look at this. Let's take a little look-see right here. Uh, let's see. Which screen do I want to go to? Let's add this to the stage. Let's go. Swoop, as my wife would say. Swoop. Um, let's see. A little more light. A little less light. I don't know. So this is, where is it? Which one is it? Ah, this one right here. This is the newest CJRB in my collection. It's a full size knife. It's, it's, it's more, a, it's more a budget knife too. I like seeing budget knives come out. You know what? You know what I mean? Nah, I mean, this is the Prado G10. Um, I have a 20, there's $20 off. If you, uh, go, there's a link. You can get $20 off a of Prado. It's a nice lightweight everyday carry. If you like a large size, now this, and see, this would fit, this would fit Casey's hand. This is a large size knife. It's comfy, very comfy. Playasaurus said, keep the assignment high, excitement high. Well, you know what? Speak, <laughs> speaking of uh, Playasaurus, what? it's going to take me forever to remember the name of this new, where's it at? What did I even do with it? I don't know. We're, uh, hold on. I'm getting sidetracked. Wait a minute. Michael Upchurch with a 24 month hold up to here, to here, super chat. He said, I want a Jack Wolf and chaotic resin and a matching slip on Lefty's EDC stream last night. Ordered a Kershaw composite dividend factory second this week. Dude, you are, dude, Michael. <clears throat> <laughs> Michael's having a good week. I'm telling you right now. What is the name of the where where did I put it? Where did I even put? Where's the new Vosteed? Is it in my pocket? Is it up? Is it on the table? Where's the new Vosteed? Oh, it's right here. Here's the new uh what is it called? The Tala Talarus. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, you know, the Tala, the new Vostid Tala, Tala Talaroras, maybe Talasaurus, the Talaroras. This is the Vostid Talaroras. It is a, uh, what do you call those things? A crossbar lock has good action, has pretty good bl blade retention. The edges are a little 90 degree-ish. Uh, they're not rounded off like I would have expected. I do have my video that came out tonight on this bad boy. It has excellent micarta. You want to take a look at the micarta? Look at this. Blue micarta. Oh, that, that's KC color right there. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Tony's Pony said, what are those two little cleavers in the middle? There are actually three little cleavers. And these are the, <clears throat> here's, here's the one somebody said it was hail damage. Is that anything like Dane Bramage? This is the Concept Mini Corvid. And they came out with a couple new models. This one right here, I think is the Watermelon. Look at that. It has that great G, G10 texture. This one in particular has, uh, what is that stuff called? Uh, Dam Damascus. There are 40, at least 40, five corvids i think i think there's 45 mini corvids if i'm not mistaken that's a lot of that's a lot of corvids look at that isn't that cool I'll get you in here for a little texture vision i have to be very very still <laughs> Let's see if I can get you all oh, there. That what 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 what? Wait a minute! Look at that! Oh my goodness! What to see? Um, let's see what we got going on here. Pay attention to what's going on. 
Hold the bus. <clears throat> Gonzos are good knives. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with the Gonzo. Tony's ponies, Tony's ponies said those are cool. They are very cool. What's up, Mike Schroeder? Mr. Fat Sacks said, I just got the Lightning Damascus. But light duty. Tolerorus means basket tail or wicker tail in a genus of Ankylos, Ankylosaurid dinosaur. Wow. Tolerorus. Did not know that was a real dinosaur. I'm very surprised by that. <laughs> uh, Alice said, new order of the Demco Arminger neck knife with lanyard and matching keychain for $55 hairs. There you go. Go to alicordparacordcrafts.com. BFB Gunner said, how's that compared to those Rough Rider assisted watermelon knives? Uh, I would get this uh, any day before the, if, if you're going to, I mean, they don't compare the the watermelon knife that everybody, you know, got. Was it last year or the year before? That's a ten dollar knife. This this is uh, an actual one that's not going to fall apart. <laughs> I mean, the watermelon is fun. It's a fun knife. You if you do get the angry watermelon, you got to make sure you uh, put some Loctite in it, or the screws will fall out on you. Lou said, bees, which PPU knife would you rather have? The Mini Corvid or the Finch 1929? Um, which Mini, which Pee-wee? Oh, Pee-wee knife. <laughs> okay, now it, now it computes. Which Pee-wee knife would you rather have? The Mini Corvid or the Finch 1929? Um, I don't, I don't know what the Finch 1929 looks like. I'd have to look it up. Knife Life said, what's the knife above the mini Corvids? This right here is the Remet Millennium Falcon. No, almost. <clears throat> this is the Remet. Oh, here we go, Laura. I mean, a true crime junkie, Laura. <laughs> a true crime junkie, junkie with the $5 hair super chat. Laura. She said, hey guys, been lurking lately because my dad has numerous had numerous surgeries and I've been taking care of him, but I'm always here listening in the goodness. Oh, thank you very much, Laura. And, and you're a very good person for taking care of pops. Um, what's the knife above the mini Corbett? Oh, yes. This is the Remet Peregrine Falcon. Look at that. I mean, would you look at that? We're going to give away one of these tonight. And the winner, the, their winner is going to have the hard choice of deciding whether to get this one or this one. We have two. And here's the blade on this bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I mean, would you look at it? Just just look at it. And all, See, it looks like a peregrine falcon diving. Shoo, boom, right on right on the head of a duck and oh the peregrine falcon by the way <clears throat> this is how it operates you push you push the button to disengage it right if you see the liner lock on the inside see there that's how it disengages it's just like that who mama it's a cool knife uh, O-Tip said, mind if I drop a shameless plug? I have a new video up, just finished loading, and I feather stick a toothpick with a fixed blade field knife in it. Go to other than intended purpose and check him out. Uh, feather sticking a toothpick. That would be pretty cool. Uh, My Journey said, that there is a humdinger of a knife. Mike said, almost a deadbolt. Yeah, look at this. You just you just push the, uh, what do you call that? You push the pivot. BFV Gunner said, hey, bees, prime right now. The Corvid M and Tan G10 154CM has 25% off. Goes from 65 to 48 bucks. There you go. Go through my uh, Amazon link and get you one of those bad boys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch screens here for just a moment because I'm going to have to run upstairs. I don't have Mrs. Bees to bail me out. Dion Brooks said the push is real good. Man, we, we have so many knives that were on the channel this week. That is such a good thing. Brian said, if I win, there's no choice. I already know the one I'm taking of the Falcon. There you go. People are making up their minds. Let's see. Can I fit both Falcons on here? 
Um, oh my gosh, look at all these new Kaisers. The Kaiser Feist and Comet. That is that is some really good micarta. And look at this. Here's the newest mini nightshade. Let me show you this before I run upstairs. Look at this. I don't I think I showed you guys last week on the live stream. Look at that milling on that mini nightshade. Just so good. I mean, would you look at it? Just look at it. Ron said, show the Kaiser with the polished DLC blade. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's some good stuff. That's some very good stuff. All right. This is fun. Um, oh, yeah. My goodness. The the polished, the, the shiny DLC blade on this right here. Look at that. That makes this, this, re it reminds me, let me, uh, speaking of polish, let me polish it. It reminds me of the Koenig Arius. I saw one at Blade Show. Somebody owned one, I think. And it had this polished DLC and it just looks so freaking good. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's just, oh my goodness. Look at that. So good. Uh, Clarence Davis said, Betty Davis just got that mini nightshade in blue. Well, how about that? Yeah, the mini nightshade is such a good knife. You, you can't go wrong with the mini or the regular size nightshade. But let's, uh, you know what? Let's go full screen with this bad boy. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It looks so good. There you go. Brian F. just put up a link to this knife. Or no, not, yeah. This knife, all these new knives. Here's the new Chili Pepper, which is a really good knife. I happen to own a red Chili Pepper that Swags gave me at Blade Show. I will always keep that knife. I feel honored to have the knife that the designer carried. Watch City Knives said, I keep looking at your shirt thinking of old co-workers who had massive dandruff. <laughs> oh yeah it does it has dots on it that yeah that would be massive dander for sure yeah mirrored dlc that is this is the only one i have of this stuff and it matches the bolster my goodness they 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 uh they just flat out just knocked it out of the park they nailed it with this thing oh my gosh uh sleazy pancake said bees are you still liking that megatherium Absolutely. It's a big one. Brian F. said, new Kaiser Militaw Chili Pepper Feist and the Comet. Uh, he put up the link to it. Brian Kerr got the new Militaw. He is super stoked. Oh, wow. The blade is polished, not the DLC, said Silvano. The blade is, well, the blade is black. Isn't that polished? What is that? Isn't that DLC coating? The blade is polished and it's it's black. I mean that right there. I think this this is probably DLC here, but the blade is black and it's polished. So isn't wouldn't that be polished DLC? I mean I could be totally wrong. Um, yeah. Whenever we somebody, I think somebody probably asked when we do a giveaway. There's motion at the front door. Oh, that might be Mrs. Bees's home. Either that or I'm getting a very late delivery. Canal Wright said, everyone who drives or directs your collection. Everyone? what? Oh, Canal Wright said, he wants to know, everybody, what drives or directs your collection. Big George said, I just picked up the Civivi Sentinel Strike with the Damascus Blade. Tim Titus said, I think you're correct. I mean, I'm uh, EDC and Lay said, mirrored DLC is a process. Well, whatever this mirror is, it, it just makes the knife just like, it makes it look like a $500 knife or it makes it look like a $700 knife. This is this is probably the, the prettiest, the most uh, handsome knife that Kaiser has put out. It just, oh my gosh. You, you would, if you saw this sitting up on a uh, display rack at Blade Show, you would be like, oh, I don't even want to know how much that costs because it just looks so good. Man. Plug or not with the $5 here. Super chat. He said, Hivers, you all rock. 
But you bees, you are the rock star of the Friday awesomeness. Happy Easter, everyone. Well, thank you very much, plug or not. You are too kind, man. Thank you for the five dollars. The Punisher said, what drives my collection? I see a knife I like and I can afford it. I buy it. So long as it's good quality. Bill Stoner said, a massive hole in my heart that I will that I fill with knives because it's more fun than therapy. <laughs> there you go. Just waiting for that new knife to come in. Bluetooth Blade said, that goes with the purple haze. Yeah, that, that purple haze look. Hey, Boo Fam is in the hive. What's up, Boo? It's about time you got here. Um, Hector is in the hive. Hey, Hector. Here's a blue hectare with, uh, I guess you would call that brown painted blade and an orange pivot. And then here is a teal hectare with, what color is that? With yellow and purple. There's another hectare. This knife, when you look at it, or when I look at it, and I just look at it, it reminds me of the raccoon a lot. It has a, plenty of differences where it's not, you know, it's not a raccoon, but it's it's lighter weight than a raccoon. It's very, very lightweight. And, you know, for a budget knife, it's pretty darn cool. Or if you don't want one that's painted, you can always get a regular Hectare like this. And it's 14C28. Oh, no, it's not. Is it? Nope, it's ARRPM9. That's the only thing that CJRB, uh, do they, does CJRB ever use anything other than ARRPM9? Yes, they do. They have some premium models with S90V. Hectare, four non painted versions. There you go. There's uh, Brian F and Dwayne K just put up links if you want to go check out the Hectare. Nice lightweight knife, great action, super lightweight. It's it's a good one. I put a video out this week with a bunch of different CJRBs, different releases. Oh, oh, and I also, uh, they have this one. Uh, I don't know. There was a link. Uh, this one was like 40% 40, 40 off. This is the, the Artisan Cutlery Andromeda. Look at that. Check that out. Button lock, gents knife. This is the Andromeda. And it's a reversible pocket clip. Very, very nice texture on that G10, if I might add. Very, very nice. Uh, CJRB also has some D2 blades. Okay, all right. <laughs> Nick Martino said S90V, M4, S45VN, CPM154, SM100, Banex, all great steels. This has good action. This is a nice pokey blade. I took this one to a to dinner one time, and I used it to cut steak. It was a year or two ago. Knives Fast is hanging out with us, y'all. If you're not subscribed to Knives Fast or you're new to the knife community, go check out Knives Fast. Subscribe and hit the, uh, what's it called? The notification bell and select all. You should always do that on a channel that you don't want to miss content on. Big George said, oh, okay, thanks, Clarence. The Playasaurus, yeah, um, it, it's going to be hard for me to remember the Tala, Talararus. The Talararus is the newest Vostid. There's the Talararus. And here's the blade. The Talararus has, I like the blade. I really do like the blade. And I like the thumb disc. The thumb disc works very well. It's good for reverse flicking. And, you know, there's there's something different, something nice about a landing pad like this that gives your thumb, like, you just have all of this area and you're not just pushing down on the spine of the of the blade, but you're you have this nice big flat area for your thumb to land on right there. Vu Fam said he received three Riots today. Holy cow, dude. How did that happen? Duke City Knight said, Bees proved flat earth. <laughs> you missed out. Uh, EDC and Lace said, Mom is always the most, most important, though. Yeah, love my mama. So it has good action. Robert Feely said, The blade reminds me of a Kaiser Task. It does kind of remind you of the Kaiser, 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 Kaiser Task. It's a good looking blade. It looks so good. Vu fam got three Riot samples. 
Hope you're having a great night, Duke City night. Hope you had a great week too. But I had my video for this bad boy, the Tullaroras. I kid you not, that's what it's called, the Tullaroras. It dropped tonight. It's a reversible clip. It's not a deep carry clip. So you have a little bit of room to get it out of your pocket. A little bit of grabbing room. This is what it looks like on the back end. On the tail end. Nice looking micarta. There's a look at that micarta. Eric said, I lost the springs to my pyrite. Does anyone know the size of the spring? Oh, dude, that is super easy. I have your easy fix All right, right now. You ready? This is all you got to do. Go get, go open your junk drawer. Get out two or three ink pens. Unscrew them and look at the springs. Any of those springs will work just fine. Get, get a pair of, a little pair of wire cutters. Make the spring about yay big. You can guess at it. Make it about yay big. About the size. You remember how big the spring looked. Excuse me. Clip it off. Use that. Well, we, after you clip it off, get get a, uh, a sharpening stone and just go around in circles to make sure it's not doesn't have a sharp edge on it. Make sure you smooth off the edge where you clip it. That will replace it just totally fine. I did that to a raccoon, made it even better. You can you can replace button lock springs with, and this is what I did. I got out like four or five cheap pens, and I got the the one with the biggest biggest diameter spring, and I I looked and. Cause I have a spring somewhere. It went somewhere in the basement. It's never been found again. It was during a, I think it was a disassembly. It went, Pwing! never found it. Mike Schroeder said, how do we get a giveaway knife? Uh, Mike, uh, Mrs. B's, uh, she's fixing to come down. And when she comes down, um, we do a pizza check and we, we talk about some other stuff. And when we do the giveaways, it's real easy. We'll give you a hashtag. That way um, it's easy to enter. So, that's, that's, that's how easy it would. We'll come, come up with a hashtag and then people will enter the hashtag and then we use the picker, the picker. Hector said, how do I increase the detent on my mini nightshade stiffer Omega Springs? Um, increase the detent on my mini nightshade. Um, let's see. How would you increase the detent? Yeah. I stiffer Omega Springs. Does it have full size Omega Springs? But I would I would think that would make the difference. Is it? It's not adjustable, is it? I don't think it. I don't think it. Boy, it's too bad they can't make it adjustable. Um, wait a minute. Is it? Oh, dude, this is how you do it. Take it apart. Look, it is adjustable. Look on your mini nightshade. Let's see if I can get you inside here and get you the right angle. If you look. My goodness, doing all of this backwards. It, there are there are three notches on the inside of the nightshade. Oh, almost got it. There are three. Why can't I get the angle right? You can adjust it. It's a oh, well, there we go. See see right there under this finger, um, right under the light. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. Yeah, there's three holes, so you can make it tougher. So if you have a weak detent on your mini nightshade, it's adjustable. Oh my gosh, finally. It only took 10 minutes. I am concentrating. There are there are three holes there. That is very cool. I didn't know that till just right now. Very, very nice. Pixie said, how much for the massive Guyot knife in the green color? Um, are you talking about this one right here? This one? I think these are probably in the 50s. This is the one you're talking about. Eric said, thank you, bees. Well, you're welcome, man. See, that's what we do. We problem solve on the hive stream. Justin Ohio said, I want a mini nightshade. This is such a good small knife. I really like it. BFV Gunner said, what's the hullabaloo knife with the blue micarta? The hullabaloo? Uh, yeah, so this is, oh my gosh, what's it called? It's called, I have to look it up every single time I've said it tonight. It's the Tullaroras. The Tullaroras, or Tulla. That is the Bastide Tullaroras. That's a Tullaroras. 
The Punisher said, Craig, my oldest brother used to have a Traumantina machete. Not sure what happened to it, though. Clarence Davis said, M390 is a great steel, but very compatible. Very compatible to S20V. And the big thing that every... Yeah, a Tala Rorus. See? That's what Dwayne K said. And Brian F. just put up a link if you want to go check out the Vosti Tala Rorus. If you go get one, they're going to be shipped out on the 4th. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. B's is in the hive. Hi. Hello, Mrs. B's. Hi. I've been waiting for you for like an hour. I have to run upstairs. Okay. So if you would like to address your audience. Sure. Hello. Hi, I'm me. You are you. We are we. Ta-da. Close to the face, sir. In your face. Close to the face. Where are you going? You gotta go potty. I gotta go potty. I just let them both have to go potty. Oh, good. I was like, can I say that for the potty? How much for your wife? Free! Free of charge! She is priceless. Free of charge. How is everyone? Happy Easter. He took his mic off. Uh, David Tully says, yes, I hate it when my wife's away, but I'm so glad she was with her mom when the stroke hit. Oh, my. She called for hope immediately, then gave her the right meds and were able to extract the clot. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, read you a story? I don't have a story. Thank you. Did he show the coin? I'm assuming he showed the coin. Uh, nails. I was going to do them today, but I just I ran out of time. Then when I got home from work, I got too lazy and didn't do it. Um, I got goop on my glasses. Hello, bees bladers. I got dog hair. Got a joke today. My face is a joke. No, I'm kidding. Um, let me see if I took a picture of today's joke. Do shooby dooby. Uh, tell you a funny story about bees. No, we didn't go throwing axes, but we are gonna go play darts in two weeks. Um, I'm sure he told you, but I went out with um a couple of girlfriends from hey it does look like a face eyes and a mouth and a nose eyes and a mouth and smile and nose i went out with a couple of my best friends there's five of us i'm really surprised we did not get kicked out of the restaurant we were a bit wild by that i mean inappropriate thank you i like my glasses too they're kind of odd shaped but not at the same time um we went to El Toro. So we, I had Mexican food for dinner. There was five of us. And then of course, when I was the first one there, my friend Ashley was the second one and saw that someone had a tower of margaritas and was like, oh, that looks delicious. Let's order it. So we got a giant tower of margaritas, which was blue raspberry, strawberry, I don't know that other flavor because I didn't have any past strawberry. I think it was like peach, maybe, or something. And then like classic pina colada. It was a lot. I think everybody had two, two drinks. Anywho, uh, today's joke is what kind of music do chiropractors like? Dun, 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 dun. What you looking at? Trouble Bunny says, Tower of Margaritas. I need a sticker of that to put in the chat. So the question was, what kind of music do chiropractors like? Hmm. Techno? Pop music? Um, Backstreet Boys? Hair. Pop? Disco? What is your guess? Very faint. Um, what kind of what? Did I already send it to you? What kind of music do chiropractors like? Uh, break dance. Hip hop. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. You missed it. What? Ashley wanted to order a pitcher, not a pitcher, a tower of margaritas. Uh, I heard you say something about blueberry margaritas. It was a blue raspberry. It was delicious. Strawberry 
was okay. I didn't finish it. But I mean, I'm not kidding you. It was what? What? Well, it was just a big pitcher. It, or it was that tall and had like a pour spout. And oh, like each okay. color, I know what you're talking about. each color was like a couple drinks. So between the five of us, they were separated somehow. It was like they put the blue in first, then the red, then the peach how, color. How were they separated? Just like sand art. I just, I just wonder how it didn't mix. Imagine sand art. Right. Yeah, but, so just, they poured in one, then yeah. they poured in another, but, but managed for them not to mix together. Mm -hmm. And then the table. How did they do that? I don't know. And then the table next to us was like huh. eight people. They had one too, and they had like more than half of it finished. The ladies are like, "Hey, girls, do you guys want the rest of ours? Oh, We're boy. not going to finish it. There's only two of us, and there's five of you." We're like, "No, we don't." <laughs> oh boy. We don't. Was it frozen? It was. Well, it started off frozen. By the time we finished it, it was not frozen anymore. What's up, Pixie? It was $35. $35 for a big pitcher. No, for a... A big giant tower. tower. I wonder if they fill it from the bottom somehow, and that's how they keep the colors from separating it. I'm very perplexed. I mean, it's not like a solid, like, blue. Right. Red. It's a slight I mean, there's a fade, mix. But still... What's the chiropractor's favorite cereal? Rice Krispies. They like the snap, crackle, and pop. Lou says, I'm a wild woman. The Punisher's just as confused as I am. Michael Upchurch says, have a good night, guys. Got to work super early. I'm out. Later, hi. Uh, have a good night, Michael. We're going to go uh, dart throwing. Oh, I like darts. You guys you guys should uh, like play darts for money. Yeah. <clears throat> This is the new Best Tech Knives Sombak. It was just released this past week. Bees, and can your dog say howdy? Yeah. Bogey? Bogey? What are you doing? Bogey, you want to come here and say hi? What'd you have for dinner? Want to come up here and say hi? I had salad. Lame. Lame. I had, a I had grilled chicken salad. Burrito. Burrito. Oh, hello, puppy. <laughs> You can honey the hive, but you can't tame a bee. Definitely can't tame the Hello, guy. puppy. Uh, Trouble Bunny <laughs> says, oh, tell Mrs. Bee's good job on the poker chip. Did you show them the chip? Yeah, they saw the chip. Um, And I think it was BFV Gunner guessed who made it. He knew where it came from. Really? Yeah, he knew the company. He saw them at SHOT Show, that company. Oh, nice. Her dog is so cute. Lou says salad. Dear Lord. I like salad as long as it has meat in it. Just imagine him as a turtle. Turtle turtles like salads, and he's a salad. Or he's a turtle. Yeah, this has trouble getting that back foot somewhere. Will you pull my leg up? <laughs> oh. Got it? Yep. He's still not gonna. <laughs> there we go. Big George says my AOL is running slow. AOL? Is that even a thing? <laughs> Bogart. Uh, hey. Calm your uh, toots. What's your dog's name? This guy is Bogart. This is Bogart. Berkeley is upstairs. He's just he's just our little lap dog. I'm very surprised we did not get kicked out of El Toro. I also feel like we made several people uncomfortable around us. Why? We were very loud. Very, very loud. Grim Drake has a 90 pounder that's a lap dog. I like big dogs that I cannot lie. This is Bogart. We call him Bogey. Bogachogi. Or uh, so depending on what he's getting into, sometimes it's choice words. You're the one. Yeah, he got big fast. Lou said, I like my salad with a lot of meat, cheese, and bread. It's called a Big Mac. <laughs> oh, gosh. I like salads with lettuce, cheese, and dressing. I like salads with everything in them. What's he chewing on? My chip? No. You letting him chew on the bee's chip? He's technically just licking it. Mainly he's licking my hand. 
It doesn't take much to offend some, said Robert Vance. That is very, very Fook true. Doosley said, who's your good boy? That guy. Who's your good boy? Oh, yes. I'm talking about you. Oh, yes. So, yep, you're talking about me. He was very excited when I got home. It's like, you haven't seen me in three hours. He's always happy when mom is home. If he gets any bigger, you'll have to change his name to to, to zip code. BFV Gunner said, I found some old AOL 3.5 floppies that I used to record <laughs> wave files from AOL. Ken said he's putting DNA on the chip better for the giveaway. Oh, yeah. Uh, does the dog have any knives? His uh, teeth. Well, his teeth. Hi. Thank you for the kisses. He's got all kinds of tooth knives. What did Bogey contribute to the giveaway tonight? He's contributing a his bogey, a bogey rock. His good luck. We have a bogey rock. And his extra twofer in the front. And his bogey rock comes with a genuine Ziploc bag. Genuine. Genuine. Why do you say genuine? Who got you this? Where's that pig bogey is so fond of? Oh, it's upstairs. It is upstairs. I got it. It's a, it's a speed cube. It's a Gan Speed Cube. The Dan Speed Cube. Gan is the brand. G A N. Dan. His uh, his his pig is upstairs. I'm gonna. He be, is so fast. I'm gonna invade your space. So there's the front. Stop oh. licking my armpit, man. Oh. So that's the front of the Jeez. coin. And then. Ah, no, you're not going anywhere. The back of the coin looks like this. It says, "Keep a Band-Aid handy. Don't cut yourself." Live life in the present. That's my motto. Live life in the present. If you live life in the past, it brings depression. If you live life and try to live life in the future, it brings anxiety. You live life. Oh, no. Sir, you need to calm down. Who wants that coin? He just wants the mom. Gee, when he Christmas. That's a nice looking chip. Okay, but Thank you got to get you. out, buddy. Put a lot of time and effort into killing it. Killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh, bees, Mrs. Bees. When are you going to have band aids made? Uh, I vaguely looked into it when we first started, but I have to do some more digging. <laughs> My 12 pound dog is farting chicken pot pie farts. <laughs> you I feed mean, your dog chicken pot pie? At least chicken pot pie smells good. Is Bogey a chewer? <laughs> it is Bowie a chip? Oh my gosh. Is my shirt black with does palm my trees does on my it? shirt have speckles on it? Is my name Queen Bee? That dog, he digs up five pound boulders. He will find something. Well, let's just say when I came oh. in and walked upstairs, there was two pairs of socks on the ground, a pair of my underwear. And something else was in the middle of the floor that he shouldn't have have. Yeah. Uh, Pixie said, how many knives do you typically carry? If I have pants on like I have today, I have five. my five. Always five. Five's a good number. Sometimes more. Dog one said, my wall, wolf girl carries a Bradford 3.5 on her harness. There you go. How old is Bogey? Um, It'll be a year. On April 11th. Yes. Uh, Sleazy Pancake said, I'd be curious to put those bogey rocks in a tumbler. You might have a gym sniffing doggy. Oh, yeah. This is dark. This is a dark mode shirt from Blade Binge. Dot com. Blade Binge is, it's, they're one of the newest places you can go and get knives. And they're also where you can go and buy and sell knives on the secondary market. Top dog, top dog, top diggity dog. Ooh. Hi. Uh, oh yeah! Don't forget to hit the the thumbs up button, y'all. Trouble bunny. Said that's what when, that's what makes giveaways happen. When's Bogey's birthday? Bogey's birthday is April eleventh. Alice said there's 237 likes and only 100, 237 watching, and only 190 likes. Wah 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 wah. Giveaways don't get got if we don't get likes. Now see if every, there's probably been five, six, seven hundred people that have stopped in tonight. People don't think to hit the like button. Do your dots glow? Uh, they they show under UV light, but they don't glow. At the bottom of the barrel. What's happening? I'm gonna open up a Coca Cola Zero Sugar. I don't have the cherry tonight. That's all right. 
little ASMR for you. Better that way. Jeff says, hey, Beads, did you see the Gonzo has a button lock out now? FH925. Uh, it seemed like I did see a picture of it. Uh, I Lou, need to send him an email. There was no pizza tonight. Yeah, no pizza was had tonight. But it is time for a pizza check. Who had pizza? And Ken Faulkner with the 10 doll hairs. He said, how many likes can 10 doll hairs buy these days? That's what I'm talking about. Ken. Bees went healthy, and I went with Mexican food. Mrs. Bees went out with the girls and had Mexican food, and yeah. I, I had a salad that I made pre-made. It was really good, too. I put a lot of, uh, what do you call those, red chili uh, chili flakes, chili peppers. Big George says, why are OTFs illegal in California? Um, it's my understanding that you can have an out the front, but it has to have a blade of two inches or less. But you can go to kniferights.org uh, or you can download the Knife Rights app. Look over here a little bit, Mrs. Bees. You can download the Knife Rights app and it will uh, tell you what your knife laws are. Donald said a lot of matzah, sausage, and pepperoni. I like sausage. Constantine said no pizza, pepperoni. chorizo, and potatoes. Lou says no pizza. My world doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't have pizza. I, I considered it, but I was like, you know what? I already have that big salad made. Lame excuses. So my dinner was $15. $15 here. Joe said, I went out to dinner also and had Mexican food. First time ever at a restaurant. I had three quesadillas chicken. Good choice. I like chicken quesadillas. <laughs> what did you say quesadillas? <laughs> Stroked out there for a minute. Mox Fox had a fully loaded burger and poutine for dinner. What you get into, puppy? Stuff. You should learn to shuffle poker chips now that you have your own. Since you can do a Rubik's Cube, surely you can shuffle poker chips. How do you shuffle poker chips? Um, I don't know. Does he mean like uh, between... What do you do? You do it between your fingers, like... Like shuffle like a deck of cards? Like Or that? shuffle it across your knuckles? question is, how do you get it around your pinky finger quickly. And, and back? Quickly. Do it on your knuckles. Oh. No pizza having a burger. 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 Milan Lab absolutely loves Mexican food. John Williams said no pizza, but having a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Hamburger. What you got in Mi that mouth of yours? Look what Mrs. B's got you all. She got you some stuff. They're in a bag. I'll let you I'll let Ooh. her show them to you. Hold on. It's squishing some ears. She's squishing some puppy ears. Oh, oh. golly. Okay, so uh, everybody listen up. I, I have <clears throat> words of wisdom for the night, okay? Dangerous. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you've had to pee for like an hour, okay, you really have to go really bad. You find the nearest bathroom and you go. What you don't do is on the way to the bathroom, you squirrel and notice that the dogs are out of water. And get their bowl and go and fill their water Seriously? bowl. Why wouldn't you do that after? And you're like, why am I doing this right now? You're That's right what there. I did when I went upstairs. Oh, oh my gosh, bogey. I didn't know if I was going to make it. I just want to squish your face. Oh, hello, mister. What am I mister? supposed to be doing right now? Hello. Um, coming up with a hashtag. No, that's not Oh, yeah, you're going to show them what you're going to show everybody what you got them for giveaways. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hello, puppy. He did it. You Hello. missed it. Was it trouble, bunny? Poker players stack chips like we deployed blades. Expertise. Yeah, he just took off his mirror hair. I just took off my mirror hair. Did I put Ken Faulkner up on the screen? I thought I did. It's like I'm petting there the bongos. Terrence Funderburg said, yep, in Arizona, we can carry anything. Yeah, 
Free bongos. We're, we're very uh, we're very fortunate in Ohio. We can carry anything. Also, free bongos. Um, <laughs> we we don't even have to have a uh, concealed carry you permit anymore. Yeah. Puppy, you're getting hair everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> What's is he turning you around? Turn around. Turn around. Every now and go, 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 go. Somebody at work yesterday was oh, was playing uh, um, Total Eclipse of the Heart. I was playing the Cupid Shuffle at work the other day, trying to get my boss to do it, and he refused. Will B said, "I think for some reason we can't carry a sword cane here. I've heard that a couple oh. of places where you can't because it's an old, old antiquated law that no one ever took the time to to get rid of." Rile him up. Delaney said, hey, bees, how do you like the Peregrine Falcon? I used your discount to buy the Kingfisher last week. It came in today, and I love it. Uh, dude, I, I think the Peregrine Falcon is very cool. Here's a bit of advice. If you get the Peregrine Falcon, don't really try to use the thumb hole. Ow, bro, you need your nails trimmed. You use you use this part of the, uh, this part of the fuller right there that part right there when you put your finger there there it's kind of uh, at an angle and then it works very well man Ow. it has a strong <laughs> it has a strong detail it has really good blade retention whatever they did lou said i redeem myself by making up for the lack of pizza segment with the singing segment yeah i'm sure your ears are bloody because my singing is terrible Ugh. There's the Peregrine Falcon. Um, I have a discount code. It's forty dollars off of the Peregrine Falcon. And this, if you look at the inside here, you push the pivot, and that's what pushes down the liner lock. Check that out. It has good lockup right there. Look at this pivot. Let me give you a nice cl up closey. Look at that. This is the Peregrine Falcon. Trouble Bunny said, I want that knife for the apocalypse. Boo Fam said, I want to take it apart. I will eventually if I ever get around to it. Mox Fox Hobby said, I'm in the fence right now to buy a real steel Luna in D2 or another bushcraft blade. Not sure which one I want first. Trouble Bunny said, what is the marking on the bottom of the blade under the pivot? Bottom of the blade under the pivot. Let's take a look here. Shooby dooby. M390. M390 blade steel, baby. That's the color pattern I want when I win the oh, giveaway. So, Apocalypse? Look at this. For what? tonight's giveaway, the winner is go going to choose which Peregrine Falcon they want. Um, this one, you push the... You not do that with the other one? Yeah, they both. But I mean, this particular brand model, um, you just push the pivot. Mm. And it pushes that thing in for you. Ooh. 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 Show me, Show me. Trouble Bunny said, I haven't seen the steel listed there before. Lou said, Bees, we need a disassembly of video for the Falcon. I'm going to have to figure out how to do it first. Um, I imagine you probably turn the pivot at some point. You would need a particular, um, I think I might have a tool. But my first guess is that you're going to turn the pivot. Maybe unscrew it. So you so need something particular to do that. <laughs> NFK20 said, I'm broken. Broken. Ballistic knives are legal in Ohio. What are they? Ballistic, uh, they are legal in Ohio? Uh, a ballistic blade is a, a knife that actually deploys the blade. The blade goes flying out with a thaw tie. Zach Stuff gifted one Bees Blades membership with a super chat. What's up, Zach? I see Zach most Sunday evenings over on OCD for EDC. That is the one live stream I managed to make it to Sunday nights. I used to Sunday, 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 Sunday. I used to be able to make it to Zach's live stream all the time, but now work because of the way work is, I am not able to do it, and it's very sad. Work ruins lives. Yeah, why do people have to work? I don't know. Nine millimeter Mike said, "Legal Blade in the, is the app for knife laws." Go to Legal Blade. That's your, oh, and this Mrs. B's is going to show you what she got to put in giveaways. I don't know, but this little dude's cute. 
Uh, let's see. He's sitting. Where's the fish room? Oh. I don't know. All right. Let's show him. Oh, bless it. Let's do this. And now I'm going to make shadow all the way up here. Under I mean, I'm it. terrible at doing this. So Mrs. B's got a blue glow alien. Go way up under my in the shade. There we go. And there we go. Mrs. B, look what Mrs. B's got. A little blue alien. He blue. He, he glows in the dark blue. Not a strong glow, but he glows. He glows, he glows I mean, I blue. I guess you could like. Yeah. Let me, let me charge him. Cup. Cuppy McCup. All right. Yeah. The, the, the Cuppy McCupperson will work. Um, how do you cup? Cup, 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 chup, cup, chup, cup, chup. There you go. See, he's blue. He blue. He blue. I'm a blue. There he is. <laughs> now you can see. I don't know how to do this. You did it. You can see you it. You did it. You did it. You did it. And let's see who got the membership from Zach. BK. BK was gifted the membership. Congratulations, BK. You think it's Zach? He's a Lego maniac. BEDC said, what up, fam? Sorry, I'm late. Busy night at work. Hey, well, we were just complaining about work just a second ago. Why do people have to work anyway? Always. And what's up with work anyway? Isn't that a funny word? Todd Carr said, Donald, correct. It's technically an auto, but because it's for the carpentry business, <laughs> I imagine it gets a loophole for it. Oh, look Look what Mrs. B's got. Hold on. Let's show you this what one. What? Wait do you see this one. Is this? <laughs> Hold but on, like look at his positioning oh my it's gosh just weird all right where do you guys see this you one? want a different one no this one's excellent they're, little, they're gonna get a kick out of this guy's still blue in the so bag. mrs b's got a whole collection of these glow uh aliens for giveaways they're just weird look look at this glow alien were it, they this it, weird in it, the last one? Oh, i don't know i haven't seen them all this one looks like he's sitting on the pot <laughs> taking a taking a dump ski <laughs> He's like, can I help you? He's really thinking about it. Uh, can I help you? And look, he's he's taking a dump ski. <laughs> Literally, looks like he's on the pot. Open. Are you on? Are you on the pot? Open. There he is. That's what we like to announce when we take the dogs for a W A L K. Yep, we say pooping. Pooping. He he looks like he's surprised. Like, oh, that's a big turd. <laughs> Ghost poo. Ghost poo. He's saying, I'm invisible. It's dumpy. It's it's the little dumpy alien. You want to put little dumpy alien in a give in the giveaway? Sure. Here, he, here he is. He glows a little better than the blue guys. There he is. He's hi hiding back in his cave. Doing cases. Ooh, those things might come alive at night and probe you in your sleep. They might do a giveaway just for the glowy. Fingernail is cut up from fidgety. from fidgety. Did you fidgety your fingernail off? That's awesome. It's twerking. Oh, maybe that's what it's doing. It's doing something. Bogey twerking. Just a twerking. Twerk, twerk, twerk it out. Twerk it out. Work it out. Twerk and work it. Work it out. Work and twerk it. Um, let's see. Second kisses. There's, there's uh, Altum. Pyrites out. So if you like Altum, and I gotta say, even though Altum isn't my favorite color, I do like I do like the feel of it. It just feels really solid. There's a different color. sound or a different feel to it. And the the Pyrite Altum, man, it has really really good blade retention. Oh my goodness! Blade retention. Uh, Evil E said, Confucius say, man who stand on toilet high on pot. What about Ooh. the Globies? Where are the Globies? Um, <laughs> globies. The Globies. I think they're in a, uh, a drawer the over there. The Globies are really small. They're baby. Oh, let's see. Which way is he looking here? James Gibson says, first grandson being born tomorrow. Being born tomorrow. Probably buy a spider phone knife for his first knife. Ooh, very nice. Delaney said, not a fan of Altum. I think Tri-State spoiled it for me. Yeah, he probably did. There's a little, there's a little bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a, bee. I'm a boom. I'm a bee. Tay says, I love those glowy little guys. I super glued 10 of them to the top of my monitor. <laughs> there you go. B 
Beef for Baron says, Pixie, probably in an hour. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, um, you want to come up with a hashtag just so we have it? Ned Nassanders, are you an app? Are you on an Apple product? He said. Here's the uh, here's the Hectare. This the Hectare is actually it's it's a it's a good knife. It has a solid lockup. I mean, you can get they have all kinds of different colors. You can get you can get a satin blade, or you can get the painted. The painted are pretty cool looking. They're not as they're. I just think that if you're in a work environment where you might have some weirdos about knives, and you pull out a knife like this, they're probably going to assume it's plastic. They're not going to know that, that it's AR RPM nine steel. Same plastic. See like the that. colors on this one. I was just about to say, I like the color of that. Yeah. Yeah. This this is a good knife. It really is. And it'll fit large hands, and it's super, super light. Super duper! BFB Gunner said, Achilles absolutely wrecked Hector at the Battle of Troy. That was a that was a, a question at... Oh, is my little notepad over there? Uh, you didn't I'm going to go grab my, my notepad. You didn't uh, use your notepad. You um, didn't have it at the show. Oh, I didn't have it this last week, did I? Mm -mm. There was one that was tough. EDC and Lay said, yep, ARPM9 is an anti stab flesh safe steel. LOL. Yes, exactly. And here's another look at this bad boy. My goodness. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. Look at that Militaw. What? What do you mean? Huh? That is a dish towel, sir. And this that is I, my Christmas dish towel. Sir. I, I know. He ha, he has a way of finding things. Hey. Stop eating my dish towels. That puppy can find just whatever you can't believe. Let's see. If only um, he could find like truffles or a million dollars in the backyard. Okay, here we're gonna do tri bonds, people. This isn't for the competition, this is for fun. This the, is for Fun. This is for fun. Now here's something you'll really like. I ripped my pan. White carry drift, regular or large, Scott said. Um, I don't know. I've never checked one out. Dwayne K said, I have a black ceramic kitchen knife. Looks like that on Militaw. Okay, we're going to do some tribons. I have a couple tribons here from Trivia this week. That is where I will give you three words. Oh, I believe. And then you say, as quick as you can, the word that is associated and goes with all three words. So your first tribon, your first three words, Olympic, blow, tiki. Olympic, blow, tiki. Potato. 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 You're a potato. Olympic, blow, tiki. You're a potato. Top dog cut it correct. It was Buffalo. Buffalo? <laughs> yep. Buffalo Ridge dressing. Everybody caught it. That is <laughs> that is definitely it. Your ear is stinky. Knife wife said, lamp. I love lamp. Yes, that is also correct. All right, here's another one. Oh. Oh. Um, all right. Are you ready? Here, here's the next tribond. Guy on a buffalo. That yes. is also correct. <laughs> or as my son would say, seven. Nick Martino said the bills are the best. Go bills. All right. Your next tribond. Baby, death, snake. Baby. Death, snake. What is the tribe on? Skadoosh, said BFB Gunner. Lou said Dumpski. Did were you able to come up with the hashtag? I think I uh finagled your finagle. Excuse me? Bill said, Did you see my custom sheepdog? Did you all see my custom sheepdog? I did not. 
We have guesses coming in. Uh, Forever said 42. Baby, death, snake. <laughs> a diaper? Um, a snake diaper? Robert said my shoe. Yes, rattle is correct. Yeah, it's right there under what you just said down. Other thing. Up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the word of the day. Oh. Bye. Did, what did somebody say? My finances? Oh, my ex-fiance. <laughs> Wait a minute. Baby, death, snake. Okay. All right. I think I would accept that. Your mom. Bills are the best at what exactly? Losing Super Bowls, says Evilly. All right. The next tri-bond is... Captain. Captain. Fish. Up. Apparently, he can't read my handwriting. Captain Fish Up. What is the tri-bond? Blue 42! What is the tri-bond? Just ordered the mini sheepdog button lock. John Williams. Oh, John, you're going to like that. It's such a good one. Craig Benson said crunch. We've got some, with some uh, guesses coming in. Captain Fish Up. Dwayne K said hat, fish hat, up hat. We got some guesses of boat, hook, a nice dump ski, cake. I like cake. Cake is fun. Hi, you go and check on your brother and you come back down. Kangaroo. Sloth love chunk. The correct answer was hook, Captain Hook, Fish Hook, and Hook Up. Brian Kerr, uh, we're doing tribonds. I have another one for you. Tribond, man, note, box. Man, note, box. <laughs> Zach stuff <laughs> with the five dollars. He said, magna cut. <laughs> that <laughs> is perfect. You even got Mrs. B's to laugh on that one. That's that was pretty good. That was, that was pretty good, Zach. Magna cut. <laughs> Steel. Uh, people are guessing. Man note box. Got Pearl Jam coming in. Empty. Mail. Music. A lot of a lot of guesses on this one. Uh, Robert P said steam shrimp, fried shrimp, blackened shrimp. I like shrimp. Bub gump shrimp, Creole shrimp. We'll have me a shrimp boat. Pixie said, when will the giveaway start? Uh, it'll start pretty soon. Liberace. Um, no money. Oh, we're, we're, this one's a little tougher. Man, note, box. Is the tri-bond. Man, note, box. Man, note, box. Can we do math question? Knives are live, said. Paper, scissors, Spock. Card, mail, up, sand. Post. Blackened shrimp over grits is good. We, we made lobster fried rice for dinner. It was great. Yes, the correct answer. Well, some, some folks, uh, so a couple people got it. Some other folks are thinking about it. The, the answer we were looking for was music. But Mu I think he also took mail. Yeah. Music man, music note, and music box. Music box. Uh, we have one more here. Another tri bond for the grand prize. Not, not really. Come on. Get us to 250 likes, people. Brian Kerr said, mic drop. He said, boom. All right. Tribond. Plate. Run. Coming. Plate. P-L-A-T-E. Run. R-U-N. Coming. C-O-M-I-N-G. Ray Bodie said, I got the music in me. DMC. We got, we got guesses coming in. Oh. My journey, said Mike Carna. 
Plate <laughs> run coming. Hi, you're not supposed to Speaking eat of music, beans. Terry T Rex just got a new guitar. Terry T Rex. Terry T Rex. Roar. Now people got this one. <laughs> Roar. 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 Waitress. Roar. That one was home, definitely. Roar. T Rex got him a Stradivarius. Speaking of Roar, here's here's the uh, oh, what is it called? The Tyrannosaurus Roar. Can't remember what it's <laughs> called. The Roar. What is that? Anything like lull? Lol. What? Rar? Lol. Oh no. Uh, Molly says lol. I don't know, but I just laughed because I was watching a trash panda on the roof. And Forever Endeavor said, Have you seen my baseball? Stratocaster. Uh Terry T Rex said yes, got a David Gilmore R Black Stratocaster replica. Omelets. Omelets sounds good. My journey said S90V. Waffles. 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 Andromeda. Waffles. Best neck knife, Sam, Sam Beck. Sam Beck. The new Kaiser Militaw, Concept Egress. Oh, yeah. I didn't even show you guys that one because I don't even have it out here. What the heck? Where's the Egress? Hi. See that black knife over there? Mm -hmm. The very last one on that, that shelf. No. I forgot to bring that over. I haven't even showed people the I Egress. That I don't, I don't see it. The the concept egress. I didn't even show you guys that. Are you talking about this one? Hey, everyone, please join me in welcoming welcoming Zach stuff to Scout Bees. <laughs> yeah. Catch. Oh, Zach is a Scout Bees. Zach is a Bees blader. Bees Bees blader. I just called Show him, him some bees love. I just called him Berkeley, and that's not Berkeley. Oh, Bobby. Baby, baby, Bobby. Zach stuff said, sorry, my card expired. Bees, please forgive. Oh, thank well, you. Well, Zach, luckily, you are you did not lose your place. You still have the blue bee, my friend. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What am I doing here? I'm going to have to start sending Zach my uh, my links. before the On Fridays, I send moderators my links. Oh, the puppy. The poor puppy. Yeah, so there's another knife that, that, that was on the channel this week, and I didn't even have it on the live stream. Here's the concept egress. Egress. Dion Brooks said, playing song quiz right now with the family. Zach will never be the queen bee. On yeah, when the puppy looks up, he uh he makes these cute little noises. They go. Oh. I don't know if anybody heard it. Alicord Paracord says, "What color B am I? I don't see a B by your name. I don't see a B. Hi, puppy. Did your card expire, Alice? Um, Top Dog just put up the not the link to the. I don't want to, I got to be careful with the puppy. There you go. There's the concept egress with puppy slobber on it. It's been bogey-fied. Can I pet that dog? 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 Craig Vinson said, I play bass too. Bass can be two words. Derek said, doesn't that renew every month automatically? Uh, there's some folks it doesn't, or if your card expires, it won't. Zach and stuff just put up a link to Bees Blades membership. Trouble Bunny says last week you all mentioned how good the drop bear was, so I ordered one and did not disappoint. Oh yeah, drop bear is so good. He looks like the goodest of boys. He is he's such a good boy. He has his moments. <laughs> Dwayne K said, remember to hit that, smash that likes up, but likes up button so you don't miss any new content. Likes up like, button? Yep, the likes up button. The likes up button? The puppy is trying to, he wants to get up in my lap right now. He's he's trying his best. But I before we uh, <clears throat> go any further, I'm going to show you one more time. Blade binge. I had a dog hair tickle in my nose hole. Check out blade binge, y'all. This is where you can buy and sell knives on the secondary market. 
And then if you want to go to, I wonder how you get back to. I recommend it, Trouble Bunny. The Just, Blade Bin Shop. Trouble Bunny says, Mrs. B's, I'm also looking at the Mini Gemini. Oh, the Mini Gemini is a great everyday carry. It's probably the two that I carry the most, to be honest. So if you go to Blade Binge, this is where you can this is where you can buy and sell knives on the secondary market. But besides that, they have a new Blade Bend shop. So if you go up here and, and click on this right here, is that where I clicked? No. Where did I click? I clicked on. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know where it was. You sure? Yeah. So right here is how you get to the new Blade Bend shop. If you go there, these are all new knives like Civivi, Kaiser, all of the brands. It's just he doesn't have big links here. See here where it says dark mode collabs? That's that's the shirt that I have on. You get all you can get all kinds of really cool dark mode knives. But you could go to all knives and then you search whatever brand. See right here where it says all knives. Oh, wait a minute. Am I even sharing this? Yes. Just making just making sure. BFB Gunner said, I've got free shipping on my BB listings. There you go. BFB Gunner has free shipping on his bees, bees blades, his blade binge listings. But just showing you an example on Blade Binge. And I have 10% off code BEES10. So if you go in here and want to buy any brand new knives, let, let's say a Hogue. Let's see if they have any Hogues for sale. Look at this. So if you want to get you a dark mode DECA clip point for $229, you'll get $29 off using my discount code. That's pretty good. 30 bucks off. Or if you want a Hogue Auto Ballista Button Lock, 170, you'd get $17 and nine cents off something to that effect. So look at that. There's Hogs. Like it, I was very, uh, very surprised. I didn't know there were going to be this many name brands. Yeah, and uh, how about cold steel? Let's see if they have any cold steel. I'm curious and curious minds want to know, do we have any cold steel? What in the world? You can get a cold steel 125 grain broadhead 10 pack. What? That is wicked. Mm. That looks like something an Indian would make or a Native American. Mm. What? Will you read what Craig said, please? Craig Vincent says I only have a few budget knives listed. If anyone messages me that you were on bleep. B's chat tonight. I will drop five bucks on any of the knives. What? How about that? Five dollars off just because you said you were on B's blaze tonight. Yeah, serrated broadheads. Those are the most wicked broadheads I've ever seen. There's a cold steel format scout. You can get this for $69 hairs with my discount code. Oh, there, wait a minute. There's a cold steel 8010. Steve-O said your mom's a broadhead. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Cold Steel AD15 Scorpion Lock. This is going to be one with S45, S35VN. I really like that colorway. That looks pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. I wonder if they have another AD15. Yeah, so there's pages and pages. There's 43. Oh, my gosh. There's 43 pages of cold steels. So you could you could do a specific search for a cold steel you're looking for. Oh my goodness. Are cold steel knives fidgety? Um, it depends on which cold steel knife you get. Some are, some are not. Who says your mom's pretty darn cool? Your mom's pretty cool. Yes. Cold she steel is. bench top knife sharpener. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Will the knife giveaway start in like the next 20 minutes or a little bit longer? Uh yes, it will. It will happen between now between and now the next hour and a half. In the next hour and 55 minutes. No, just kidding. Malone Le Milan Leib said that's a lot of cold steel. Yeah, so that gives you a, just an indication of the Blade Bend shop, just how many knives they have. You just, at right now, you just have to search the brand because they don't have them like in sections. So I, that'll be a nice uh, upgrade when they do that. But here's the marketplace. <laughs> this is where you can buy and sell knives is the marketplace and there's people every week here on the channel that talk about knives that they bought or that they sold on blade binge let's see let's search um let's see if there's a cold 
steel AD15. Let's see if there's an AD15. Uh, well, we have some cold steels. Here's a Voyager Tonto, a Cold Steel American Lawman, Cold Steel Colossus. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Jeez. That thing's Colossus. It's Colossus. Look at that thing. Price drop. There's a code four for 100 bucks with CTSXHP. A 4 Max Elite, a Recon, Cold Steel Max. Oh, there's the Frenzy. That is a very cool knife. I have that one. It is a very big knife. Mini Recon. Wow. There's a lot of Cold Steels for sale. There's, there you go, a good old Kershaw Leak assisted opening. So there's your blade binge, you peoples. You angry watermelons. My journey has a code for. Uh, Lacey said the uh, the police is a big boy. I like the stretch too much more. The stretch too much more. Mr. Fat Sack said, I'm looking for Cold Steel 4 Max scales. Everyone's telling me I need to upgrade my scales on my AD15. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a hashtag for you folks. And I need to change to a spring background. Mm, yes, you do. Although I wouldn't mind if it snowed. It's possible that it can snow at the end of March. I would hope not. It, it definitely can happen. I mean, it snowed uh, on my son's birthday, which is April 5th. His birthday is next week. I guess I should get him something for his birthday. Probably. Oh, boy. That's a you. Uh, All right, so I'm going to put up a hashtag. And this these are the rules of the of the giveaway. This giveaway is going <laughs> to be international. Anyone on planet Earth can win this knife. <laughs> so we have a lot of different countries in here tonight. So anyone on planet Earth can win. All you have to do is enter the hashtag. Take your time. There is no rush because it'll be another 15 minutes at least before we end up doing the giveaway. It always takes me that long. Plus, I got to decide which giveaway pack we're giving away. Joe says, my birthday is April 7th. What are you getting me? Hey, happy birthday. I'm going to give you a shout out. Happy birthday and a free bell. Mike Schroeder just said, I became a blade binge seller. Hey, there we go. We got people selling their knives already. What about, what about people on planet Claire? What about us illegal aliens? Um, I'll consider it. But yeah, if you live on planet Earth, this you can enter this giveaway. I'm going to give you a hashtag. You'll enter the hashtag one time. Don't spam the chat. If you enter the hashtag a bunch of times, you're going to be disqualified. Besides that, you just have to be 18 or older um, or have parents permission or guardian permission. And I will cover up to $20 shipping. Uh, shipping to Mars, I can't afford that. The channel would need a lot more views. Um, I'll cover up to $20 shipping. And if it's more than that, you'll need to Venmo me or something, the, the remaining. Here's the thing. Once I mail it, my part is done. If you're, if I'm sending it to Zimbabwe or something and customs wants another 50 bucks or something weird, you have to cover anything after it's shipped. I'll cover up to 20 bucks. We've shipped things to South Africa. I mean, the UK, gosh, Australia, Canada, all over the place. So here we go. Craig said, bees, I, I just happened to be flicking my frenzy when you mentioned it. That's that's a heck of a knife to be uh, to be flicking. All right. Let me get this banner up here so you guys know what the hashtag is going to be. And this this one, you, you pay attention, take your time, because the spelling, you're going to look at it and your eyes are going to cross. You can thank Mrs. B's. She comes up with these illustrious hashtags. Technically, it's what I got in email today. 
Make sure I got it right. There we go. So take your time. Just leisurely, just leisurely enter it because there's no rush at all. No rush, people. The frenzy is going to wear your hand out, Mr. Fat said. BTB, yes, it is. All secchi. It's K390. You know, that is a blade steel I don't have yet. Derek Poppenhagen's birthday is on April 4th. Happy birthday, Derek. <laughs> NFK20 said, bunch of homeless addicts in my building. And the puppy is chewing on a log. Yeah, let's not distract him. Here's the Kaiser Comet. In this beautiful red micarta, and I have a dog, dog or a cat here on it already. It's everywhere. Yeah. A matter of fact, this is the one that when I was doing the film, or when I was filming it, when I was editing it, I could see a uh, it was a cat hair. So I pointed it out while I was talking. Mm. That I, I had had it out of the package like five minutes, and it already had a cat hair on it somehow. But I really like when they do that with the with the uh, pivot collar, the micarta. BFV says pale green. Pale green. Yes. EDC and Lace said uh, April fourth is my dad's birthday. Well, happy birthday to EDC and Lace's dad. The word of the day means a pale greenish color. This is the word of the day. Eudenil. I don't even know how to say Technically, it. Technically, it's E-A-U space, D-E space, N-I-L. Yes. Per perfume from nihilists. Yeah, I couldn't put spaces or anything. It's it's actually three, kind of three words. Eudenil. A lot of April birthdays. Uh, Lou said cat hair is inferior to bogey rocks. And tonight's giveaway is going to have a certified bogey rock in it. There you go. With we're gonna, it has a discovery date of March sixteenth, and it does have bogey DNA and bogey fur. Let me give you a close up, a little bit of texture vision of this bogey rock. This was in his cheeks. This is one of his findings. He found it just for you guys. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Bogey Rock Texture Vision. And you get this premium Ziploc bag. Oh, yeah. I guess I can show you uh, what we're giving away, huh? Let's see what we got over here. It's chilly down here tonight. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, you, you come downstairs and it's like 10 degrees cooler. So I have, so this, this was sent in by a bees blader. You got a member for 10 months. Hey, heave 72. <laughs> it's a super chat. He said, my youngest son's birthday is April 2nd. Happy birthday to he heave's son. Um, let's see. 1050. I'm going to do this. Oh, boy. Some are going to like this giveaway. All right. So the winner of this giveaway, here's some stuff that's in it. A brand new IR2 EOS from Olight. You, you can't go wrong with these bad boys. That's one of the lights that I use up here to light these during the live stream, four hour live streams. And I charge it, I don't know, every few, <laughs> the light on those, th th these things do really well. I have a couple different, this one and the one that's a little bigger. So you're going to get a, uh, an O light. Dwayne K said, my little nephew Noah is birthday is on the 31st. Happy birthday, Noah. Pale yellow green color. Milan Labe said you had me at Olight. So also is a Wee Sabibi patch. A little fancy Wee Sabibi patch. Um, let me get something out, out to put all this stuff on. What and, light is that? Um, now you won't have to list the light. Okay. Unless you already started. Nope. Okay. Um, let me get this tray out. Will you get a sticker pack, please? Lest I forget. Like right this second. Well, I just 
comfortable. And the dog was occupied. Blue Sun said, my anniversary is on the 31st. My wife would love a Sonora. Where is it at? Down there. Down. Or you can grab something out of that. That's a Molly bag. Something out of that. And then down in that box right there. This you know, one? To the right. Yep. Nick Martino said, patches and stickers are the best. So we're going to give away this little, I'm sitting on the potty alien. This little dude that glows when he's charged. Look at that. I hear Tootsie tapping. This is the pooping alien. <laughs> <laughs> pooping. A whole pack of KPL doodads. KPL uh, micro microfiber quads. Mic microfiber doodads. And then we have candy, assorted candy, and we have a sticker pack with these blade stickers. Um, there was some, oh, and we're going to give away the very first Bees Blades chip. Lucky poker chip. It says live life in the present. So you're going to get a Bees Blades chip uh, challenge coin slash poker chip. And then we have a Bees uh, gnome. And we have the a regular accoutrement of all these all these stickers. Tons of bees blade stickers, queen bee sticker. Uh, look at that, a pizza band aid that goes on a special wound. <laughs> you don't want to waste it. Keep a band aid handy sticker. B look at that B E D C is in there too, and bees blade sticker, and a bees blades uh, bees blades Bob's burger sticker. And Blade HQ stickers, Dessert Warrior hey, stickers, paper dirty. and a nice sticker and a bunch of little Kaiser stickers. Some more Kaiser stickers. There's just Shane Gable's PKR sticker. So let me put all those in that bag. There's a nice little swaggage going on. BFE says, don't trolley up bees. I'm not. It's got to go mid. Don't you worry. It'll take me an hour and a half. And then on top of that, but wait, there's more. You get, because everybody needs a penguin, right? You get a penguin. Look at that. Isn't that fun? It's a penguin. Milan Laid said, I love the Bees Burgers design. That was designed by Pocket Metal. So we got all this kind of swaggage going on. And Jeremy Bowers has been a member for 16 months with a super chat. He said, everybody hit that thumbs up button. Thank you very much, Jeremy. 16 months. Can you believe that? Wow. 16 whole months. And only, only put in the uh, hashtag one time, y'all. Don't spam the chat. We catch you doing it more than once. It's considered something. <laughs> Heebs. Um, well, I was trying to put Heebs comment up, but so many people are still entering the hashtag I, I just find it weird that it takes that long for 200 people to enter the hashtag not too many I, I was trying to go back to the last super chat but it won't let me because there's so many uh chats going on right do you now. have any silly putty um i do not have any so oh you want to grab something from molly's uh bag of junk we'll, we'll put a random we're going to re-gift something from molly from ocd for edc it'll be a surprise It'll be a surprise. You're going to get surprise junk from the junk drawer. <laughs> oh, finally. Heaves. There you go. Member for 10 months. Experience Precision. What's up? He said, Bees, the new model Militaw I won came in from when Kaiser did a live giveaway. I now own two Kaisers. The T1 I won from you. And now the Militaw, the action on both is absolutely perfect. Nick Martino says, do you mean pocket metal? Yes. What did I say? I have no idea. Yes. Pocket metal. And a bunch of, su bunch of suckers. Sucker. Melvin says, you said don't rush. Yeah, don't rush. Well, you're right. I'm glad people aren't. You just They just keep scrolling, scrolling. Jake Anderson says, if you put the hashtag in more than once, we will fart in your general direction. Yep. I I will have Bogart fart in the bag. 
in this Ziploc bag and then seal it. So all your suckles, suckles, <laughs> suckers will taste like bogey fart. Honestly, I don't think his farts smell that bad. I think it's the guy with the rancid ones. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he doesn't have that bad of gas. Or as Mrs. Bees would say, "I'm gassy." <laughs> thanks oh, put, thanks for putting that out there. Well, when you burp, you say, "I'm gassy." Mm, I do. And here is an official Bogart rock. This is the one I was showing you. Discovery date was March 16th of 2024. You're going to get this official, but and but wait, there's more. You get not one. But two genuine Ziploc bags. Two Ziploc bags, people. Brian F says, good save, bees. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good save. Well, it's true. You do that when you when you burp. We have V Gunner said, I'm back. Oh, um, so man. Let me see here. EDC and Lee says, I would have vexed my ex hub for saying that. I mean, farts a fart. <laughs> What's that one children's book? Everyone poops. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is something that somebody won a, quite a while ago and it was unclaimed. The prize pack was unclaimed. Now someone is going to get <laughs> this. It's Tennessee red cedar. And this was carved. Milan Lab says it's all right, Queen Bee. We all get a bit gassy every now and then. Uh, I'm gassy. <laughs> Look at that. PNW Fun Stuff carved this genuine carving from PNW Fun Stuff. Lou says, now that you said the thing about bogey fart, I will be handling the package in a level four biohazard suit if I win. Yep, level four containment, people. Better safe than sorry. This was hand carved by PNW Fun Stuff from Tennessee Red Cedar. So that is very cool. I like this one. I like the design on it. Let's see, what else can I add to this giveaway? <clears throat> a Rubik's Cube. Oh, not a Rubik's Cube. Although I can solve it. And this one is this one is very flippy. <laughs> Boo says I'm gonna go get a gas maker right now. Taco Bell. Jim Miller says, hello, bees, blader. What's up, Jim Miller? Ugh. Paul says, why fart and waste it when you can burp and taste it? you can it? burp and taste it. He's eating that. Oh. Your rubers sell fart jars. YouTubers sell fart <laughs> jars. <laughs> you rubers. You rubers. <laughs> that sounds like Here I, I sit all broken hearted, tried to poop, but only farted. <laughs> Derek for real said working on working on the gassy right now. I'm eating Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I love a good Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I almost suggested Taco Bell the other night. I think we got Chinese instead. Taco Bell. Um let's see, what is this? Oh, mm. this goes with who won last week? B uh in just a minute if my pages weren't sticking together. Uh, Clarence Davis and Playasaurus. Well, who who won the remet? Clarence Davis. Clarence Davis. Mm -hmm. All right, Clarence. I'm going to give you an option since we haven't mailed it out yet. Is he in here? Clarence has got to be in here. I mean, Clarence is always in here. Clarence, are you in here? Yes. Hey, Clarence, I'm going to give you an option. Oh, he said I did. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it on. Uh, <laughs> let me Jim see. Miller says, just got back from Good Friday service and Cracker Barrel might join the gas gang. <laughs> well, he's gone. He gone. He gone. I just got real sleepy. The DOG is holding that log. And chewing on it. He's holding it with both hands like a chipmunk. So Clarence Davis. Are egg rolls just a chimichanga? A chimichanga. Oh, wait a minute. I, uh, let me put this back up while I'm asking Clarence Davis who won last week. I mean, Clarence Davis won last week. All right. Clarence, I'm going to give you your choice. Um, crud. Where did I put it? Let me go grab the knife. 
while Mrs. Bees talks to you all. Did you just have it in your hand? No. Just give me just a Sweet. second. Shimmy churros. Ooh, churros. I like food, and food likes me. Bogey. Bogey says it's over there. Shooby. Uh, Is anyone eating snacks? I feel like I want a milkshake. Oh, yeah. Snack check. Snack check. Snacks on snacks on snacks. You can also show them a knife or something. I could, but that would require me to move. Um, and no. I would just show the screen, but you have it on the knife cam. Well, switch it. Wife distracted me. Did he draw? Nope. Not yet. He I'm is looking, looking, for, looking knife. for something. Oh, boy. Choose wisely. Dirt cake here for snacky snacks. Ooh, dirt cake sounds good. I just popped my neck and I can hear colors now. Man, that's a good neck crack. Like I did one the other day. I felt it like down on my soul. I was like, oh, right there. that was a good one. Is anybody eating snacks? No snack called yet. What? No one's eating snacks? Not yet. All right, Clarence. You have oh, your... somebody's eating dirt cake. Clarence, you have your choice. Did you... you put worms in your dirt cake? Ooh, nothing like worms and dirt cake. Clarence, you get your choice between these two kingfishers. The new Dream Cycle Frosty is good. Where's that from? Wendy's? Dream Cycle Frosty? Pistachios. Pistachios. Doritos and Diet Coke. Amish made turtle candy. A yogurt. Yobert. Donder is eating a yobert. So, Clarence, do you want... Uh, the up or down Ooh, version. Dots pretzels are delicious. Whopper, Easter, Robin eggs. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Those are really good. Delicious. Those are very good. Baby aspirin. Mm. Peanut butter swirl ice cream. That sounds good. Clarence Davis said up, please. He wants this one right here. So that means I get to keep this one <laughs> unless we end up giving it away. Give it away. You give never it away, know. Give it away, so look at that. Clarence Davis, he lucked out and got his choice of the Kingfisher. So I'm going to put this in the package just like that. Homemade vanilla ice cream shake with malt and heavy cream instead of milk. Don't judge me. By the way, you all, if you want it. How thick is that? Can you drink it through a straw? If you want. Either one of these Kingfishers, I have a $30 off code for it. Oh, little cream cookies. Kingfisher. Oh, no. So if you want a Remet Kingfisher, I have $30 off the Kingfisher. And you can only get it on Remet's site. And if you want 30 bucks off, you can uh, use, I don't know. It's, uh, let's see, it's KFBs, I believe. It's KFBs on Remet's site. So there you go. Clarence, I'm going to go put this in your giveaway pack right now. Give it to me. I'll do it. You sit okay. there with the people. Nice choice, Clarence. I like them both. BFV Gunner said, I'm having dark chocolate coated dolphin free cranberries. What? Dol what? <laughs> dolphin free cranberries. Okay. I, mean, I don't know. The ones with dolphins are pretty good, they're a little saltier. A sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. I stripped over that. EDC one. Lay said, use good vanilla ice cream, simple syrup, heavy cream, and malt. It's literally the most indulgent thing on earth. That I mean, it sounds good. like heaven in a cup or a bowl, whatever really you Really good. Derek's Poppenhagen said, Lay's potato chips. Lay's potato chips are some good stuff. Here's the concept egress. I got to get that trail off of it. I don't think I have there we go. There you go, little fella. So, yeah, Ramet coming in hot. <clears throat> and the winner of tonight's giveaway is going to be able to choose between where's the other one at? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Found it. 
So the lucky winner tonight is going to be able to choose. And the, these are, you can open from the pivot, by the way, between this, that right there is the Remet. Uh, there it is. Where is the other one? What did I do with it? Well, it might be lost. What? Uh, I'm trying to find the other one. Oh, there it is. I love how everybody just heard me narrate me looking for a sweater. That's what I do when I'm walking around. I'm like, well, they can hear me. Yeah, but they see you. Melvin said McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel. The winner is going to get to pick between oh, this version or this version. I love the Remet Peregrine Falcon. A good sweater. Nothing like a good sweater. That's why I'm double layered because it's chilly down here in the Beast Hive. So cold. So cold. Look at that. You talk about a win. Peanut butter jelly time. Where well, yeah. Where well, yeah. Grilled peanut butter and jelly. I'm trying to think if I've ever had grilled peanut butter and jelly. I have not. Whew, somebody's going to be a happy person. Tonight. What are we doing? Yeah, Ramette usually does come by the live stream. Yeah, so this was sent in, and this was sent in, and we're giving one of them away, and I'm keeping one in case I make more videos or do a disassembly video on this pivot lock. It's delicious. You should make one after the show. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you learn? Uh, because it, it takes me a while to uh, wind down after the, the live stream. I was talking about a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now that, do we have any bread? Yeah. Really? Yes. I wouldn't mind doing that. What did you think I was talking about? I thought you, I said, I'm, I'll, I'm keeping one because I might do a disassembly video, which is a big might. I said, I might do a disassembly video. And you said you, we could do it after the live stream. I'm like, eh. oh, sorry. My brain was still stuck on the <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Butter knife said either one would make me very happy. Butter knife? Butter knife. Yeah. I have a knife. A, oh, you know what? Well, Something. You'll need a butter knife to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I wonder if Vu Fam is still in here. Uh, he went to go get Taco Bell, remember? Oh, uh, when if he when he comes back, remind me and I'm gonna show him and, and make him jealous because I don't think he has this version of the Basti Dachshund. During cases, heard tried to disassemble the Falcon, took several screws out and couldn't get it apart still. Huh. Well, I would imagine you probably unscrew the pivot. Chef Rocky coming in hot. He said, sup suckers. Hello, best friend. Love to you and yours. Hello, Miss, Mr. Best Friend, LOL. Hi, doggies and kitty. Hello, Chef Rocky. Hey, sir. Hey. Been a member for 10 months with a super chat. Can I get a bees link for Kaiser again, Pedro Armstrong? Yes, if a moderator would, wouldn't mind getting one of my bees links to Kaiser that I sent you tonight before the live stream, I would be much appreciated. Moderators. Oh, Jared. Jared is weak weakly. Oh, was Jared trying to take it apart? Yeah. I said heard, but it was supposed to say Jared. Ah. Tried to take it apart, took several screws out, and still couldn't get it. Apparently, you say screws weird. My my best guess is that you would unscrew the pivot. What I would do is contact Remet and ask him. But their nutters are the best. Chef Rocky with 10 months. He's working towards a whole here. A whole here? A whole here. But yeah, this this is the uh this was a prototype of the dachshund, which is probably my uh probably it's in my top three favorite Vosties. I'll I'll say that because man, the nightshade is is just one of my all-time favorite knife designs. Mike says I have a satin dachshund. It is that stonewashed? This is stonewashed, but this is a prototype. Who has a black version? This is a prototype. I have the black one also. It's a what? A prototype. Why do we say prototype? I don't know. It's just funner to say that. Does anyone here have prototype steel? This is mm. prototype steel. It is stronger than Vanax, stronger than K390. Stronger than your love for me. Yep. No. It's a prototype. <laughs> <laughs> really? I I didn't even know what you said. I was concentrating. Nothing is stronger than my love for you. EDC and Lay said peanut butter with honey and bananas on rye bread and a panini maker. Right? Rye bread. I asked for a panini maker for Christmas. 
Did you? I did, but I did not get one. Well, you got everything else but the ch kitchen sink. And I do love peanut butter, honey, and bananas. It's delicious. Jake Anderson said, I think the Valkyrie is a very underrated Vosti knife. Great quality for the price. Your it's mom's a prototype. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Your mom's a prototype. Tyler Brown said, y'all making me hungry. BK said, I have a hobbit knife. It's a prototype. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. I'm trying to think of what rye bread would taste like with, uh, with peanut butter and jelly. Honey wheat would be good. EDC and Les said, heck yeah, and a panini press is a must-have kitchen tool. Can you use a waffle maker as a panini press? No. Because it's not pressing anything. Oh, I guess it would be too pressed. It would be squished. Your mom's too pressed. Pedro said, does anyone know if the code works for the purple egress? Maybe. Maybe. I want to know why sometimes this is dark and sometimes it's not. Like, I don't know if it's the uh, the sensor on the side. Peanut butter on rye toast. But, yeah, sometimes sometimes it's dark like this. I love peanut butter and honey. Please don't ruin it with bananas. I can eat. So, I am allergic to bananas. And I can only eat super green bananas. But well, not super green, just I mean, with green. green still on them. They're green bananas. But I've noticed when I do peanut butter banana on like an English muffin, they can be a little more on the al dente side and they won't itch my mouth. Can know what I mean? Sure, sure. Sure. Shooby dooby. I feel like somebody's getting into trouble upstairs. Yeah, I hear hear all kinds of commotion happening up there. But I don't think I want to look into it. Don't know what's going on. Well, I've accomplished that. It's a letter H. I bought peanut butter with honey in it last time. Is that good? Peanut butter with honey? Like the peanut butter already has the honey mixed in. There you go. I got you a letter H. Oh, look at that. Mrs. B solved for the H. That's upside down. Nope. One, one more. One more. There you go. There we go. Cuban panini, ham, pork, cheese, pickled mustard, and on a Cuban roll. There you that go. Sounds good. Ta da. I did a lowercase. Fire, fire, fire. It's much better to mix it yourself. Blue Sun Truth. All right, are you so, what are we doing right now? Uh, we're doing a giveaway. Okay. Um, it is time to do the giveaway. Yep. We're gonna Mom do, again, tired. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this giveaway, and then the winner is going to pick. What's your solve up, time for a Rubik's cube? Upper time. My best solve time is, I believe, one minute fifty six seconds. I, my other cube, I I put. Uh, crispy donut community lube on it and it slowed it down. So now I'm going to have to take it apart and dry it off. It made it slower. But then I got this one, which is a speed cube. This is a GAN speed cube. So I'm going to actually practice this one. This one is much more crispy and it doesn't go past the spot. It stops where it's supposed to. And you could, <laughs> uh, I'm not a Rubik's cube nerd. The nerds take these apart. There's a bunch of pieces. They take it completely apart. Each end each color has a screw. You can pop it out and you can adjust the tension on the inside. That's for the super nuts. They can do it in like six seconds. They can pick up, they can pick up a cube, look at it, put their hands on a thingy and go. And it's solved. Blue sun said my best time in competition is 48 seconds. 48 seconds. That is crazy. A 10 year old won the junior division in 25 seconds. Wow. Next step, solve it with your toes. Yeah, this has, this has uh, magnets in it. If you look look on these ed edges, edges, ends, right here, there are magnets. See there? Dwayne K said, oil may react to the polymer and dissolve it. Some plus you can't compress the liquid. Yeah, they actually sell um, silicon lube just for speed cubes like this.
Okay, give away. Okay, it's a winter blade cube. Yeah, it is a winter blade cube. All right, let's see who's going to win this giveaway here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right. Are you ready? Let's see who's going to get to pick from these two peregrine falcons. I feel like the dogs are up to no good. Yeah, they're up there romping around. All right, folks, here we go. Let's see who's going to be. And the winner is Bulldog. Congratulations, Bulldog. You have just won a Remet Peregrine Falcon. Congratulations. How about that? I don't remember seeing Bulldog before, so that means we have a newer Bees Blader just won an amazing knife. Here's the thing is, first, Bulldog, you're going to have to let me know. Do you, you want up or down for your choice? Do you want up or down? That's how we're going to we're describe. Do you want up or down? Which one do you want of the Peregrine Falcon, Bulldog? A bunch of people are crying right now. But here's the thing. If Bulldog doesn't email me within 24 hours with a screenshot of his login page and Bulldog and his mailing information, then it might go up next week. You never know. We'll see if Bulldog lets us know if he wants up or down. Where you at, Bulldog? I haven't down. I haven't seen him say anything. He just did. There he is. He wants... The fancy, Mr. Fancy Pants version. All right, Bulldog, now you know what to do. Email me, beesblades at gmail.com, and I'll put it up on the screen. There's my email, beesblades at gmail.com. Um, make sure you email me. Just do it tonight after the live stream and put Bulldog in, in your, in your uh, comment or whatever when you email me. And also a screenshot of your YouTube login page. So I know it's you and only you. How about that? Congratulations. All right, fancy pants people. I am Mrs. Tired. Bees is tired. I've been up since 530. I uh, just want to say I hope everyone had a great week. Hopefully everyone has a good weekend. If you're doing things with family and Easter egg hunting, I hope you find the biggest Easter egg ever. Ever. Um, love you all and purchase what's in your shopping cart. Good night and toodles. Bye, bye, buddy. Bye, Mrs. Bees. Good night. Good night. So I'm gonna put this fancy romette in this fancy package here. Oh yeah, it's a it's a whole oh uh will you make me a sticky? Is there a sticky right there? Yeah, I know, Canal, but don't you worry. Um, I, there are more remets to come. That's the exciting thing. There are more remets on their way. That G kind of looks like... It does. I'm going to have to get a, uh, a winner's bag. Tom Williams said, Happy Good Friday. Clarence Davis said, GN, Mrs. B's. I saw GN. I was like, what's GN? Is that a new knife? What is GN? It's good night. Well. Something Vita Zane. Look at that bulldog. Bulldog. Oh, Steve O's been a member for 10 months with a super chat. Steve O. Nick Martino said, thanks, top. Tank's top dog, too. Robo said, I don't care about winning. I just want the Power Ranger. <laughs> David said, my headache is getting the best of me. Good night, friends. Have a good night, David. Steve-O's been a member for 10 months. Can you believe it? And I'm going to, I'm, I'm scrolling back because I'm going to show you all something here. I'm scrolling back as far as I can. See if it'll let me go back that far. Because there's been a lot of commentes, comma, mama, mentes. Oh, you know what? Uh, Mrs. Bees is gone, so we can grab a snack out of the uh, snack jar. 
Hopefully there's a sweet snack left. I'm trying to, I'm trying to scroll back best I can. Bear with me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it went by. Ah. Oh. This scroll backer can only scroll back so fast. Oh, I don't know if I, oh, no, I'm not able to do it. Well, I'm trying. Let me see. Let me try something here. Bear with me. Nope, it's not letting me do it. Prado grilled PB and J. He said PB and J is the best. That's way back again. Dwayne K said, "Remember to smash the thumbs up button." Dwayne K said, "Have a great weekend." Top Dog said, "I've been snacking all night on the Japanese snack box that should have gone to Mister B's, but I forgot to use his address when I ordered it." <laughs> oh, I see. I see. What are you snacking on there, man? Japanese snacks. Okay, I'm a little jealous. Top Dog, see how you are snacking on snacks let me get a bag to put this remet in for mr bulldog um let's see do we have a big old three gallon bag yes we do look at this big jobby we have a remet golly a big old bag of candy and stuff and an olight and a oh um bulldog let me ask you this not everyone is interested in a rock with with uh hair and fur on it bulldog let me know on the rock yes or no just let me know yes yes rock or no rock because if you don't want the bogey rock i'll save it and we'll give it to someone that actually wants a bogey rock this was a, a rock found by the dog and he brought to me he goes and he brings stuff various things hello bogey did you, oh he heard his name you heard your name, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes, you heard your name. Oh. Yes, you heard your name. All right, you want to come up here and say hi to people? He heard his name and he came running downstairs. He was like, you guys talking about me? Ooh, Miller 86 is flicking the Devo mash. Okay, you could just... If you come up here, you got to chill. You can't... Oh. Gosh. Well, you gotta make up your mind. You can't be Mr. Wigglebutt. You're too you're too heavy. I'm not that strong. Jeez, he is just the happiest dog you've ever met in your life. You're his happy dog, aren't you? Yes, you're a happy dog. You heard your name. Brian F said, I broke down and got the concept egress with your link. Don't tell my wife. She already thinks you're a bad influence. <laughs> Dude, the egress is a big old blade, man. Clarence, uh, and thank you for using my link, Brian. I really appreciate that. Clarence Davis said, love our Devo Mash V2 dark mode. Yeah, the Devo Mash version 2.5 is really good. Top dog wants a bogey dog. Robert said bees. He said yes on the rock. Okay. All right. All right, bulldog. You get a bogey rock in with your stuff. And got your name on it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm off work tomorrow. I get to, I get to sleep in. It, it's usually very difficult for me to finally wind down after the live stream because I end up clean, cleaning up and stuff because the table becomes kind of a disaster area. And then I go upstairs and then my mind is still going 100 miles an hour because my mind gets uh, going fast. Miller86 said he looks like a polar bear mixed with a Labrador. Dude, he is. He, his, his fur is so unbelievably thick. It's crazy. Wouldn't surprise me if he had something else in him. Lou said, if I enter, ever win the giveaway, I'm having my rock framed. Oh, yeah, man. You can put it under lights. Um, Shannon said, I love Kubi, but their customer service is crap. Gideon said, what was the metal that is stronger than K390? Um, I don't know. Lacey, do you have an answer for that? What metal is stronger than K390? 
Maximet. Watch City Knife said that's a hyena. So you can get $40 off the Peregrine Falcon with my code. It's uh, PFBs on Remet's site. And the moderator probably has the link. If anybody wants, if you're wanting to get one of these now that we've given it away. This one is, is mine. Which sounds good. Clarence Davis has one that'll be going out to him hopefully in the next week or so when Mrs. B's and I get a moment to go through the process of packaging and putting everything together and, and, and all that. Steve-O said, I'm sending pocket razors, a Stormtrooper Devo Growler V2 to use for a giveaway. Look for it in a week or two. Oh, very nice. Milan Labe said, I'm in love with that blade. Yeah, this blade is really cool looking. Plug or not said, I'm really curious to try that pivot lock. Jake Anderson, I just said, I just used it, bees. Yeah, he's not a dog. He's a big paw. Oh, he's back. He's, he's pacing. Oh, this is one I didn't even show you guys tonight either. There you go. Brian F. just put up the link. Remet Knife Peregrine Falcon. What I was just showing. $40 promo code, and it's a pivot lock, or I don't know what you call it. The pivot, when you push the button right here, it pushes down the liner lock, and then you can close the blade. Let me give you an up close. Look at that. Perfect, perfect lock up on it. Very, very nice. Play a source said, not going to lie, a little excited. The one Clarence didn't choose was coming my way. Oh, really? Uh, Stacy said, did I miss giveaways? Uh, you, you missed. We just gave it. We just gave away the other version of the Peregrine Falcon. Um, I'm not going to get back out of the package. It's already over on the other side of the room, but it's there's three. There's three different versions. There's one that's all flaming anodized. And then there's this one. People are calling it calling the Power Rangers version. And then the one Clarence Davis one is the fancy Mr. Fancy Pants. EDC and Lay said any simple carbon will be stronger than K390 will be. So are you saying that K390 is not a strong steel? I thought everyone was going crazy about K390. Hello, Lion Metal Music. I don't know what language you're speaking. There we go. He said, nice knife. Thank you. Gideon said, I thought I heard bees talking about a prototype steel. Oh yeah. Um, I was, I was messing around that. I got this several months before the uh, dachshund was released to check out and it's a prototype. So it says prototype on it. I was just playing around. I don't even know if this is a uh, real steel since it's a prototype, it might be D one. <laughs> Is there such thing as D1 instead of D2? And, you know, I haven't talked about this enough. This, man, this new Best Tech. Y'all didn't watch the video. Not, not a whole lot of people watched the video, but this knife is, whew, it is really nice. It's some good stuff. This is the, what's it called? The, the Best Tech something. What's it called? The Best Tech. Not Andromeda, not Vostid, uh, the Best Tech Sombak. Best Tech Sombak. Look at that. Very cool pivot. Lacey said, uh, yeah, bees, K390 is a high edge retention steel that's capable of being ran very hard and have a good toughness for being so hard, but it's not quite, it's not a super tough steel by any means. Oh, I, everyone's been going crazy about K390. I, I keep hearing people talk about it. Lou said, bees, do you think button activated liner locks are the future of liner locks? I don't know, man. I, I think it's going to be a preference. Um, I doubt it's going to be the future of liner locks because I really, I don't know. I enjoy liner locks. I'd hate to not have any knives, but you know what? They might be, you know, that's, I think that's the second like button 
liner lock that I've came across that I've been able to do a video on. Boy, this is this is such a this is such a good little pocket knife. The Kaiser Comet. It is it's a good knife. It really is. And it's boy, it's pokey. I'm telling you right now. Plugger not said that best tech looks awesome. I'm all about trailing point knives, and that one looks fantastic. I'll be right at home. With, it'll be right at home with my Kunwoo Ronin. And you know, for it, the way you hold it, when you hold it like this, it's not super trailing point. You know, it's not it's not real high up. I'm not I'm not super big on ones that go super high, but that's not that's not too bad. It's you know I would call it like barely trailing point. It just has kind of a bigger belly on it. EDC and Lay said quite possibly the best all around non stainless for EDC knives. Actually, Gareth said morning B. Sorry I'm late. Work has been hectic. What's up, Gareth? We have South Africa in the hive. What's up, man? Lou said rather have M390. Delaney said the Vostede RS Chaos is a button operated liner lock. Yeah, the the Chaos is a cool knife. Hi, puppy. What you doing? What you doing, bud? Are you a good puppy? Say I'm a good puppy. Yes, I am. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's get this bad boy out. The RS Chaos. I don't know if I have any sweets left, Top Dog. I think these are all cracker oriented. Yeah, I think they're all crackers. Here's the RS Chaos. Hello, bud. You being good? Huh? Here's here's one of the versions of the RS Chaos from Vostede. And if you're going to buy Vostede, use my link. Support the channel. Got to put bread and butter on the table. Um, so this is the same concept. The button is right here. And when you push the button, the liner lock is disengaged. Boy, I, I had to get the one that you can't see. Let's see if I can get the light in there. Where's my flashlight? Yum. Did you guys know that the guy that came up, um, Menon, you know, Menon, the the uh, the men's shave, shave lotion brand, they put out an ad years and years and years ago. Um, asking for someone to come up with the jingle. And the dude that came up with Buy Menon, he still today is making money every time that is used in an ad. Can you believe it? I bet he is glad he submitted that. Tech Chat's been a member for 21 months with a super chat. He said, I'm late as well. I have a big day roaming around our nation's capital. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let me get my uh, Arkfeld, Arkfeld Pro here and try to illuminate. Oh, boy. I struggle. And the blade's pointing at me, so I am paying attention to what I'm doing. Maybe if I do it this direction, and then I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, technical difficulties. Trying to do three things at once here. Oh, my gosh. I'm doing everything backwards and... Everything is left, right, backwards. Um, let's see. See the op? I did it. See the liner lock? I disengaged it by pushing the button. Whew. That was a lot of work. <laughs> VooFam said, I have a disassembly video. Got If you guys want to get a complete look at the RS Chaos. There you go. Voo. Oh, Voo. What was I going to show you? Hey, Voo. Have you seen this? I mean, it, it, it's not going to beat out. It's not going to beat out our favorite. But I didn't know if you had uh, if you knew this existed or not. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to come back so I could mess with you. Vu knows what this is. LCV Blade said they made me hurry on my order. The Daxon. Well, Vu, I don't think they uh I don't think they ever released one that looks like this, did they? Maybe they did and I didn't know it. I just have the stonewash version, but this this is uh this is one they gave me so long before it came out that I forgot they gave it to me. 
It's a prototype. EDC and Lace said, I haven't touched a Kunwu knife that hasn't had a great heat treat. I am going to have to get a Kunwu something one of these days. It's, it's on my list of knives to get. But until then, I'm just going to carry this giant monstrosity of a knife. This big thing. Oh my gosh, I have so much dog fur on me. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Pardon me while I uh, use a roller. My goodness. It's a wonder that dog has any fur left. I mean, Brian F., do your German Shepherds shed that much? I mean, my goodness. that The puppy has so much. He has like a triple coat. I swear he's a golden retriever, great Pyrenees mix or something. Jeez. Cold steel is on top of their heat treats. Vu fam said I have the, yeah, you have the black stein wash. I've never seen a stein wash. Well, the only reason that when I'm down here that I use the lint roller is to try to control the amount of fur in my workspace because my workspace involves making videos of close-ups. You guys know that I've always done close-ups. Nothing like doing a close-up and then you go to edit and there's a big cat hair <laughs> or a big dog hair. So I try to keep it under control. I have my fan down here that has a, uh, a filter attached to it just to keep the dust down. Because, you know, knives. Knives. Are you just getting your exercise going up and down the stairs? I like this. Anyway. Stone washed. Yeah. Bees, did you get your package? Gareth, um, if it showed up at the post office today, I did not get to go to the post office today. So I, I would imagine it's probably at the post office, which means I'll get it tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. I got your message that it was delivered. So since it didn't wasn't delivered uh, two days ago when I stopped by, that means it was probably it's probably there now. Donna Warden said, "Better late than never." Just got to my lost phone. Hello. Oh, there's nothing worse than losing your phone. Brian F said, "Bees, I can vacuum, and there will be fur tumbleweeds again by the end of the day. Oh, during the sheds. Okay, just making sure." Travis Kirk said, got the flame anno headed my way. Ooh, doggy. Derek Poppings, Boppenhagen said, bees, have a good week. You too, man. Have a great week. Francie said, that pro stuff right there. Fan with the filter for knife content. Heck yeah, man. I showed it to you. I showed it to you all uh, a while back. And you know what? Just because we're hanging out and having fun, I'm going to show it to you. My homemade knife content dog fur slash dust filter with a, oh, it's a, it's a, there's a number. It's a, not FEMA. It, it's a something 13 rated. So it doesn't say on, probably says, oh, it's Merv 13. So I have a Lasco 20 inch fan, like a super King or whatever it's called. And on the back of it, I have a sealed Merv 13 and I, uh, I got foam seal sealer stuff, foam one with uh, two sided tape and put all the way around it. And then I put this, this on top. And then I used, uh, it's called gaff tape. It's not as sticky as uh, duct tape. So when I do take, when I do change it, I can take it right off. So it's completely sealed all the way around. And there you go. And I just keep it on low. So there's my homemade Merv 13 filter. And the fan stays clean because it's filtered. How about that? Would you just look at that? <clears throat> Brian P. Brian F. said... <laughs> Watch out, bees. Merv is a perv. Don't turn your back. Engineering quality beyond reproach right there, said Delaney. Can we get a link for the RS Chaos? Uh, yes, I have a Vostied link. Um, if a moderator wouldn't mind showing my Vostied link, 
I'd appreciate it. Be much appreciated. Fred said, I've never had a fan blow dog hairs. Maybe I just haven't noticed. Well, that fo that fan catches dog hair and stuff floating in the air. Pam Griffith said, Bees, I hope you and your family have an enjoyable Easter weekend. Thank you very much, Pam. Someone paid attention in shop class, said Chris. So what does that even do? So Fred, when, when you I, I leave it on low all the time and the amount of dust that collects, right? And I have to, when you have a lot of knick and knack bric-a-brac like I do, if you, if you're a, if you're a channel member, you've seen my, my shelf with all of my things and stuff on it and the less dust, the better and cat hairs and dog hairs float through the air and then land on everything. And that is a filter. And with it always on, it's always filtering the air and by a lot by a large margin is filtering out a lot of the dust and, and mostly i mean dust dust is a, such an issue my shop down here is about 25 feet long by 15 feet wide and it's tables and sharpeners and all of this stuff and giveaway stuff and it's it's work. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I can't do knife knife stuff. I have to clean shop. I have to dust. I have to keep things the way they're supposed to be. Gareth HB gifted one Bees Blades membership with a super chat. Gareth, bring in the bell and let's see who won the super chat or who won the the uh, the membership was gifted to Fred. P 1983. Congratulations, Fred P. Brian F said, I use one of those in my shop when I'm sanding composite materials to pull the fine dust out of the air. See, there you go. And the Merv, the Merv M E R B is the rating for how much it takes out of the air. And Merv 13 is pretty good. V for Baron said, six more likes, guys. How many, how many likes are we at? That's the question. How many likes? Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think there's any sweets left. What is this? Well, no, wait. I don't know what this is. This maybe this is a sweet. So this is a South Korean treat. Top Dog sent me a whole gift gift pack. Oh, wait a minute. It's a victory pie. This is a family friendly show. Just a reminder. We have 297 likes. Garrett said your mom would hit the like. Oh, that reminds me. I could. Um, I wonder if I, I am able to I'm just look in here. Let me look at something. Yeah, it looks like we did did hit it. EDC and Liz said, yeah, those mass made branded buck china knives are going to leave a whole lot to be desired. I'm seeing 301. So what I'm kind of feeling is that it uh, pays to stay. Jason Horn said, I made the same air filter with a 3M HEPA filter. The filter costs more than the fan. Uh, Yeah, because HEPA filter is like more, a lot more. Isn't what is a HEPA filter? Merv 16 and above, I believe. Um, yeah. Christopher said, what are those ginger candies Top Dog likes? The one for sour stomachs. Um, shoot, what are they called? Top Dog, what are those things called? So I'm going to I'm gonna unbox this real quick, and I'm going to eat it. Eat it. Thank you very much, Gareth, for donating that membership. Who is this Merv that you speak of? Brian F said, "Bees, I grabbed a Kaiser, a Kaiser Towser K, a Towser S for forty bucks. Some really good Kaiser sales right now. Oh yeah, there are some really good sales right now. Kaiser, a matter of fact, it's only like a it's only like a one or two day sale. They have some stuff for like forty bucks off." Delaney said, "Now you can give the other room that away." Eh. Stevo said, I like that top dog candy. It has a nice kick to it. It's a ginger. It's ginger candy. Oh, 
yeah, this is a total win. There was one more sweet left. It's like a flattened, uh, what do you call it? It's like a flat version of a moon pie. And I have the feeling this is going to be messy. Oh, boy. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> I was correct. Terrence said, I got a Towser K and LMAX for 120 Wow. Merv is a fan of the hive. <laughs> That's pretty good, BK. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a flat moon pie. Now it needs an RC Cola. Merv is a fan. The question is, is Merv my biggest fan? There you go. Top Dog just put up a link to the ginger candy. Perfect. That was very good. It almost tastes like it might have had a hint of lemon or something. Now, to keep the dog from licking the floor for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to throw these uh, crumbs in the trash real quick. I'm going to have to get Mrs. B's. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'm making deviled eggs tomorrow. I have I make uh, famous, famous, renowned deviled eggs, by the way. Since I'm doing that, I'll tell her I'll make deviled eggs if you help me pack up giveaway stuff. We'll see. Vicky B said, I love that Heidi key that the ginger candies come in. Yeah, it's a cool little uh, container top dog. All right. So... Let me do this. Let me uh, come up with a uh, tag hash real quick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I th oh, I already know. I already know. I already know what this hashtag is going to be. You just wait. It, it, it's gonna it's gonna school you all on uh, exactly what this thing is. Um, as soon as I can find it. Wow. Bear with me by Minin. This is going to be a U.S. giveaway for this second giveaway. You guys all know the rules. Enter one time. Check your spelling. Take your time. Um, it, we're not going to do the giveaway for 10 full minutes. So take your time. Don't spam the chat. Don't enter more than once. If you enter more than once, you'll be disqualified. And you have to be 18 or older or have permission from parent or guardian. And I'm uh, I'm not reading comments because I'm multitasking at the moment. Give me just a second to put up a banner. <clears throat> put up a David banner. <clears throat> it kills me when there's silence. I, I just want to look. Da 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 that was my elevator music. Okay, there we go. Got it up. Tolerorus. Hashtag Tolerorus. That is literally the name of the new Vostede knife, the Tolerorus. I'm not kick, kick, kick hitting you. I ought to enter. I, matter of fact, I, sh I should enter to see if I could win again. Foley said, Bees from Ipanema. Well, hello, B.A. Foley. There's someone's Wi-Fi that says Miracle Whip Blows. <laughs> uh, TDF said, I don't eat anything with mayonnaise, period. Well, you could you could technically make, um, you could probably make deviled eggs without mayonnaise. You could probably use a substitute, like uh, maybe, I wonder if ranch would be a good substitute. You could put ranch in it, maybe. 
Yeah, I make some, I make some mean deviled eggs. There's secret ingredients. A lot of love. Uh, <clears throat> it's salad dressing made with oil instead of eggs. Think ranch dressing without the seasonings. A lot of tolerances is going on. All right, so I went. Let me make sure that I, I covered all the knives because every time, time I think I covered them all, I didn't. Let me show you the. Let me show you these. Oh, this one has the ting also. Let's see. I just got the ting from this chili pepper. It depends on how you hold it. I got the ting. Let's see. It's not as tingy as the red one, as the aluminum one. Playasaurus, Talararus, 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 Talararus. Oh, just so you all know, this this is literally the Talararus, the Bastide Talararus. Right here. This video dropped tonight. I know you all watched it all the way through. This is the new Vostid Talararis. If you go and order one, they ship next week on April 4th. So if you're interested and you want to get one, I would get one because whenever a Vostid knife drops like this, they they just sell out. That's just what happens. There's so many Vostid fans. They go, they go crazy. They go nuts. Top Dog just put up the link to this knife if you want to go look at the specs and stuff. It's 14C28 in blade steel, baby. Dwayne K said the blade looks like my Norton. I do love the blade on this thing. Prado said Bostied shot to the top, chop, chop. Brian F said I will never eat a deviled egg. Even with the added love, bees. Really? Dude, well, you know what? When I was a kid, I wasn't a deviled eggs fan. Deviled egg fan. But then I uh I don't know. I finally uh finally did. Yeah, well, let me let me just uh move these other giveaway things. Get this out right here. Somebody tell me what knife am I flipping right now? How's the fidget factor in the Kaiser dogfish? Anyone know? Raccoon Tactical said, have you heard of the new Vostid Raccoon button actuated liner lock? Uh, I don't think so. No, I haven't. <laughs> Plug or not said you're flipping your mom's knife. I'm flipping the chili pepper. One of the best tings out there ever. Any ting you want. General Zod said, sounds like my turn signal. Dwayne K said, yes, I win. Experience Precision literally put the red chili pepper up on the screen. Craig Vincent said, new game bees, name that knife sound. What's uh, H2 said, what's the best fidgety knife? Oh my gosh, dude. There's, there's so many. I, I don't even know how you would begin to it. I don't even know how you'd begin to trying to figure it out. Here's the green chili pepper and aluminum. This is aluminum. This is G10. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we have three different, uh, three different kinds here. This is aluminum. This is G10 here. And then this is fat carbon, fat carbon fiber. This one is S40, uh, I think it's S45VN. What's the steel on this? This is the one I looked at earlier because I couldn't see it. 
Oh my gosh, no, this is S90V. <laughs> S90V, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Raccoon Tactical said someone found a slip up on Amazon in the Vosti group and it was a raccoon button actuated. It was either liner lock or compression style lock. Really? I don't think I've heard of it. EDC and Lace said, I don't think I've ever seen deviled eggs without onion and relish. Um, I don't put onion in mine. I do put a little bit of relish. Plugger not said, hey, bees, I hope Miss, Mrs. Bees is okay. I got back late and didn't hear it was... Getting here if she was under the weather. Oh, no, she was down here for, I don't know, an hour and a half. She, she just went upstairs a little bit ago. Clarence said you can add it, add it, if like wouldn't hurt. Vu Fam said, yeah, they saw it today. How about that? Chris Jones said, I'm a newbie. Please tell me knife things. Well, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. I like knives. Knife things. If you want to know knife things, just ask Vu Fam. He claims to know knife things. I I know nothing. I know nothing. What's he barking at? The puppy's barking to something. LCV Blade said, "Don't sleep on the Kaiser Kobold V2 and V4 with the aluminum handles." I don't put onions or relish in mine. Josh said, "Just mayo." Uh, so what chili pepper sounds the best? Um, crud. Uh, I didn't flip the green one, did I? Let's see. I don't know. The aluminum one sounds pretty good. That G10 might... Oh, wow. The aluminum has more ting. Oh, wow. Dwayne K said, LCV, one of the best sounding knives I have. Put a chili pepper on a mayo egg. It has the same ting to it, LCV Blade said. This is the green one. Chili pepper and egg. I like spicy. Um, definitely, if you're going to put, don't listen. Here's here's a pro tip for your uh, deviled eggs. Don't put paprika on the top. Use Spanish smoked paprika. All right. Um, let's see. People are entering, and enters are going in. Make sure you put in hashtag Tolerarus. Uh, boy, that's going to be hard to get used to saying. And let me show you what is going to be in this gall. As Top Dog would say, a gall. Everybody likes a good gall. A gall. <laughs> All right, let's straighten this dude out. Let's see what we have in this yeah, bag to give away. Oh, look, it's an Olight, an iMini 2. There's a brand new iMini 2. How far is that? That might be a little close. And then we have a, a deck of Wii playing cards. So there's a win already. And uh, I'm just going to, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. This was an unclaimed prize pack. Check that out. There is a B lanyard, Paracord B lanyard, a Wii patch. And I'm going to have to zoom out because there's a lot of stuff in this. In this uh, it pays to stay. <clears throat> a light a patch a b paracord um we call that dude a little uh, bees gnome golly brian curse said b the kaiser mini critical doesn't ting the mini critical doesn't ting Dwayne k said not celery and deviled eggs lacy says it isn't so oh look at this a whole pack of KPL uh, doodads. And then what is this shiny thing? Ooh, look at this. Um, it's a challenge coin from Blade HQ. 
check that. Let's see. Let me do a little switcheroonie and show you this challenge coin. Let's see what we got here from Blade HQ. It's a mermaid challenge coin. What? What? It's a coveted mermaid challenge coin from Blade HQ themselves. So if you have a mermaid, that will go with your mermaid. Look at that. How about them apples? Celery, celery. I like salary. I like salary. LCV Blade said, I have both in hand. Pick up the critical more. And here is a Vosteed keychain for all you Vosteed fans. Look at that. Just look at that. The Vosteed keychains. Heavy duty. I said duty. And then what else we got in here? Um, we have some candy. And then we also have, you got to get some of grandma's, grandma's candy. Assorted grandma candy. Everybody likes assorted grandma candy, which by the way is expensive. Jeez, I did not know grandma candy was so expensive. And hopefully I have a swag pack. Yes, I have a swag pack. And I'm going to, I'm going to get something random out of, uh, I like uh, Mike and Molly from OCD for EDC, and I'm able to watch their live streams on Sunday night. And when people win stuff, she always sends them just the random junk drawer stuff. Oh, by the way, check this out. I think this is from maybe from Crispy Donut Community. Someone tell me. This little three-eyed uh, sprinkled fish. It's, it's either from Blade HQ or from Crispy Donut Community. It's a patch. You can put on one of your EDC pouches. How about that? Look at that. I said duty. So there's a patch. And then I have a whole prize, uh, swag pack here. Uh, let's see. Oh. You're going to get a Bees Blades pin. Look at that. So there's a Bees Blades pin. You can pin onto whatever. Your backpack, backpack. So you get a Bees Blades, Bees Blades pin. And a small stack of stickers. All the Bees Blades stickers and a Queen Bee sticker. Bunch of stickers. And oh wait. But wait, there's more. More stickers. Blade HQ stickers. A nice sticker. Big old pack of stickers. <clears throat> and besides that, look at this. A penguin. Because everybody should have a penguin, right? Isn't that right, puppy? Huh? You get a penguin. And let's see what else is in here. More candy. So whoever gets this one is getting a bunch of candy. Oh, boy. Yeah. So <laughs> there's that. And here, let's get something out of the random stuff that Molly sent me. She just, she cleaned her junk drawer out and just sent me stuff. Okay, you're also going to get a puzzle. I don't know what the puzzle is. And I don't know if all the pieces are there. They might be. So here's a, here's a random small puzzle. They might, I don't know if they make a whole puzzle or what. This is just something she sent. And a genuine Ziploc bag. Did I say Mike and Molly? <laughs> Justin and Molly. <laughs> Molly and I are in junk drawer battle currently, Chris Jones said. B for Barry said, my wife ate all the bees candy last time I won. I mean, you know, you, you think, I don't want candy. And then you get it and you're like, ooh, piece candy. Ooh, piece candy. Ooh, piece candy. All right, so there's the random random stuff. Okay, now so should I put a knife in with this giveaway? That's the question. I should probably put a knife in with this giveaway. Y'all ready for this? This is an expensive knife, and you'll remember when I did this giveaway. And you'd be like, wow, somebody didn't claim that. This is like, I don't know, $150 knife. I don't know how much they cost. And I wish I knew why. Sometimes... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reset this. I'll be right back. I think you'll still be able to hear me. 
but I'm going to reset this camera because sometimes it does this weird thing. Um... Hey, look, I'm backwards. <laughs> this is my right hand. This is my left hand, right, left. Yeah, it may be dark again. And now this is my left hand and this is my right hand. Isn't that weird? So this is a fox knife. No, the dragon knife was given away. I don't have that knife anymore. The purple dragon knife. Greg said, if I were to win, I'd 100% claim it. Yeah, I, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, people don't claim. And I, I've had some really nice stuff people didn't claim. That's all right. We give it away. It's this one right here. Fox knife. Very cool knife. It's not cheap either. This bad boy right here. I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it says on the blade. I can't remember the name of it. Wahongi? The Fox Wahongi. Wah 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 the Fox Wahongi. Angelo said, hand it over. Fook Duzle, happy birthday Monday. He said, "Birthday, my birthday is Monday and I never win at B's. That should do it. Uh, Dan said, it's called mine. It's the Wongi. Craig Vincent said, I never win, but then again, I never win. Uh, Ken Faulkner said, no poker chip. Uh, Ken Faulkner, I'm glad you said that. Good old Ken. And a Bees Blades poker chip. Because it's never a gamble when you're a Bees Blader. You always win. <laughs> you're never, it's never a gamble when you're a Bees Blader. You're always a winner. Live life in the present, keep a band aid handy, and don't cut yourself. With an official Bees Blades poker chip. And it says Bees Blades on the edges too. And you can practice flipping and flicking your poker chip. Or you can use it for heads or tails. Look at that. These are very well made. Good call, Ken. Oh, something else, Ken. Um, one of Mrs. Bees' little... Uh, Aliens. Let's see which alien you're going to get real quick because this is fun. EDC and Lace said, yeah, I know you couldn't literally live off it, but I love it and do eat it a lot. Ken Fort Faulkner said, had to work for it, Delaney. Oh, how cute. Um, flashlight, flashlight. Let's charge it up. This little dude. Little alien dude. Check him out. Would you just look at him? Would you just look at the little alien dude? Hello? How about that? Uh, Craig said, I have decided for a giveaway, I will send you a penguin. Dude, that is some awesome sauce. Thank you very much, Craig. We're going to actually give away a penguin with a blade. Someone tonight is getting ready to win this penguin right here, though. It's a penguin because everybody should have a penguin, right? So the Fox Knife uh, Ganges, it has a nice blade on it, pretty comfy in the hand, sheep's foot blade, super duper grippy, that's a grip and a half. I think if, if I was going to be carrying this every day, I might take the pocket clip off and get some sandpaper or something and soften right here so it doesn't end up being a pocket ripper because this is some aggressive texture i love the texture just i know what it does to my jeans pockets because i use my knives all the time my knives are always in and out in and out in and out in and out of the pocket and i i tear up some pockets i'm telling you Dwayne said lace i think it has a black label so there you go a fox knife a very fancy one. Fancy. Golly, that's a lot of stuff. Um, should I add something else to it? 
Yeah, you, know, you know what? I think we should add another knife. Do you think we should, pups? We probably should. Should we should we go grab another knife to put in this? Let's grab another knife. Let's see, which one's it gonna be? Let's get let's get a banger. Oh, that one's cool. Forgot about that one. That's actually a really nice knife. What's this one? Oh, this is a good one. That's a very good one. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, ooh, piece of candy. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. What is this? That's 14C28N. What? What? All right, some budget. You guys hear me over here like rummaging. All right, here we go. Here's a budget knife. I don't remember the brand. This bad boy right here. It's 14C28 in blade steel. And I love the handle. Top Dog said, you're killing us, Mr. Bees. What am I doing? There you go. It has honeycomb handle. And there's the brand. Oh, there you go. This is the one that they made the, uh, the other fancier one, the Monacala. There you go. Check it out. Love that blade. That's a really cool blade. I would have liked to have checked out the metal one, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. Dan said bees tease. Uh, Derek said bees get sidetracked. Dude, you have no idea. <laughs> uh, Top Dog said, I have one of those and it's a good, decent knife with good action. Giving it the old bees tease. Yep. All right. So there we go. And uh, let me get a pouch to put it in. Uh oh, here we go. Pouch, pouch, pouch. You're getting the pouch. You're getting the pouch. All you're doing is getting the pouch. Um, let's see, where's a nice pouch? Um, there we go. Uh, I th actually, I think this is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Bostid pouch. So you get a very nice pouch in case you don't have enough pouches. Vu fam said, LOL, lol, reminding himself to get the pouch. Yeah, well, there you go. You get two pouches and two knives. Swing. All right, that's enough. Those were sold out real quick. Great value, said Fred. Melvin, what's that fox knife? Or I could, um, wait a minute. Where did, where did this come from? Oh, well, here you go. I'll, put, <laughs> I'll add these in here. Here's some uh, ginger, can ginger candy that soothes your stomach from Top Dog. I have three of them. Here's some ginger candy. Put those in there. Try those out. Those those are very refreshing. And, you know, I found something else that we're gonna I'm going to add to this giveaway. Where did this come from? I don't even know. When did I pick this up? I don't know. I'm going to put it back over here. <laughs> A brand new bottle of Knife Pivot Lube Ultralight KPL. Check it out. KPL Ultra. Knife oil. Five weight. This is what I should have used in my... Uh, Rubik's Cube, they said people use five weight. I should have used ultra light. Because I used regular, which is probably like eight or ten. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. Okay, here we go. This is a lot of fun. I don't care who you are. Ooh, piece of candy. Brian F said, uh, not yet, but it's coming soon. My hands have had a lot of issues, but they're straightening up now, and I got gotten everything out and ready. Now it's time. Um, let me do some eye pivot lube and then we'll see who wins all these fabulous gifts that weigh 12 pounds now. Here we go. Is this a 50k giveaway? Play a said. 
I don't even, I don't think I'm near that. My, my uh, subscribers don't really climb that fast because I don't do shorts just because I don't have time. If I ever took a week off and made like a hundred shorts and started posting them, I'd, I'd probably like, I just, uh, right now, subscribers <clears throat> are what they are. <sighs> Some good stuff. All right, here we go. Share my screen, and we're going to see who wins all this stuff. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Let's see who wins it. And the winner is Nisanders311. Congratulations, Nisanders311. You are the winner of all this stuff. Make sure you send me an email and make sure you put your screen name in the, in the email and a screenshot. If you, if you don't want to forget, you can always replay this. A screenshot of your login page, your YouTube login page that shows your screen name and put your screen name in the e email and your mailing information. Unless you live in Zimbabwe. And then today is March 30th. And I'm putting this, I'm not going to write it on Mrs. B's book. I'm putting a post-it because I don't want to mess up her, her uh, notes, her uh, official. She, she takes care of the official giveaway book. It's all her. So congratulations to Sanders. Dwayne K just sent you a, uh, just sent you, or you just put my email up there so you can see it. Yeah, you just never know when I just can't stop giving stuff away. One of these times I'm going to put in a five pound buggy rock and someone's going to wonder what in the world they got in the mail. Oh, I I don't have anything against Zimbabwe. It's just, uh, I was trying to think of a, a far away place. Wow. So there's a lot, there's like bags of stuff. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Playing cards. Oh, almost dropped the, the B thing. There you go. There's your giveaway bag. This is as big as I am. Raccoon Tactical said, I still want that Kaiser hat. A lot of people want the Kaiser hat. That is that is for darn sure. Should, should we give away my Spidey Chef? That's the question. Should we give away my Spidey Chef right now? I know the answer. The answer is like, absolutely not. Because I'm never getting rid of it. Play a source at bees is like bogey. You rock. Oh, thanks, man. You're very kind. Very kind. I like those. I like those poker chips. Those are, those are pretty cool. Whew. Yeah, it might be somebody's second account, but you know, it, rather than uh, rather than worry about it, I'm I'm big on low stress. That's just how I roll. The one of the most important things in my life is the lower amount of stress and not stressing about things. That's just, that's just me. It's not everybody. I don't expect it to be, but uh, there's, you know, people at work that get stressed out and stuff. And I'm like, uh, if I'm going to burn brain cells on something, it has to be really important for me to uh, worry. And that's one of the reasons I love my wife so much is because she does not bring any stress into my life. We are drama free, and that makes me the happiest person on the planet. Serenity, serenity now. Yes, the lack of drama is is my happiness. Just oh. people that do drama, I, I don't. It's not my. It's not my speed. It's not my. Not my gag gig. 
Thomas Wheeler said, interesting local news. Uh, this is not a Spidey chef. Life is good. God bless you, bees, said I'm me. Yes, life is very good. Live life in the present. Enjoy today. You don't know how many days you have on this planet. It's a finite number. And we are so infinitesimal, so, so tiny and finite, not infinitesimal. It's infinitesimal to believe how tiny we are in this whole universe that you're not as important as you think you are. <laughs> That's what I remind myself of every day. You are but a speck of dust, my friend. Ken Faulkner said second happiest bogey is number one. You got that right. Dramas for llamas. Drama free is the way to be is my saying, Jeffrey said. Jeffrey said, I love, freaking love my Militaw. Dwayne K said, I can tell you and Mrs. B's are so much alike and work great together. Yes. We, neither one of us do drama. They're just, wow, did I luck out. I'm just telling you right now. Uh, I was in a, I, I was in a relationship years ago that every day that's all I was worried about was just not making that person mad at me again for something for being myself. Oh, that's the worst experience. Precision said not saying the person that won is an alt, just a general statement overall. What? Not saying the person that won. Oh, I know. H Hakuna Matata. Haku Hakuna Matata. There you go. Boo fam. Ken said, especially worried about something unknown. Yeah. Or something you don't have control over. That's the biggest thing is my son will do it. A couple of people at work will do it. And I'm like, you're, you're worrying about something you have no control over. You just, just wait and just whatever happens, happens Cross the bridge. When you come to it, if you don't have control over it, don't, don't give up that little bit of space in your brain. You know what I'm saying? Dwayne K said, I'm glad you found happiness bees. Thank you, Dwayne. You are so kind, my friend. Chris Jones said, please sing Mrs. B's, the Band-Aid song for me, B's. Ah, Chris, I will. Craig said, the only drama I take part in is my fishing stories. Oh, now, now, now hold on. Let, let me, let me clarify what I'm talking about when I say drama. I'm very dramatic, but not in a negative sense. I am, I'm like happy drama. Like, oh my gosh, did you see this? It is so cool. That's my kind of drama. Fun, good drama. No Spidey Chef giveaway, Ron. Uh, no, my Spidey Chef was a gift to me. I was just, I was just playing around. All right, people, this has been fun. Thank you to everybody that donated doll hairs and everybody that donated channel memberships. You all are freaking awesome. Unfortunately, it's, it's been over four hours, and it's time for me to start winding down so I can go to bed by three in the morning. Um, I, I have used KPL Dry Lube. Um, I use it on my my pins. I wonder if I could take the place of other various. I haven't done a whole lot of the dry lube on knives, but I guess we'll have to save that for next week. Hope you all enjoyed playing around with knives and talking about all the stuff that we've talked about tonight. You already know more content to come. I love you all to pieces. Have a great weekend. Um, gosh, spring is almost here. Depending on where you are in the United States here in Ohio, we're working on it, but I love you all. Remember live life in the present. Keep a band aid handy. And don't cut yourself.